Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Welcome oh, to episode five of Into the Mist. It is our Curse of Strahd campaign. Um, we are live right now on the Realmsmith <laughs> Twitch, on the Dungeons and Dragons Twitch, and on the Beetle and Grimm's Twitch yeah. for the first time. Multi streaming, three Twitches. All the Twitches. That makes me nervous. It's great. Want to say a huge thank you to start to Dungeons and Dragons, of course, for hosting us and for sponsoring us. Uh, we love them and we love the game that we play that they made for us. Um, our other main title sponsor is Beetle and Grimm, as mentioned. Yeah! Yes. Yeah! The illustrious <laughs> Matthew Lillard is on with us today again, which is great. And I have some goodies. To pass around the table. What? what? From the upcoming <gasps> Beetle and Grim Curse of Straw Box. Wow! They what? are player giveaways, but I need you guys to be honest about who has the items that you've already collected. Oh, I'll probably Falfur for has it all. The, 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 so far, so far. Falfur <laughs> has most This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show it here, and then we can show it on camera, right? Like like close up, Lillard? This is. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. So, so yeah, then we're going to show it on the board. You can just put it under the overcast. Dude, that's awesome. Kind of give it okay. Little, little okay. Absolutely. First thing is, uh, the letter that you got specifically yeah. when you were asked to come to Barovia. Yes. This is a letter from uh, Kolyan Indonovich, the burgomaster of the village Whoa. of Barovia. It has a seal on the back that you open up, and this is one of the ways that we get yeah. so this is that. Oh, Ooh. it feels like it's indestructible! <laughs> You can put it under the uh, under can the I camera touch there. It? You yeah. can. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, Jason. Wow. Yes. Um, <laughs> just cool. Put heads up. Matt Guys, is check really that quiet. Have and it's just him. Yeah. So and maybe the see seal, the wax him, seal that's broken. Or you kidding me? Right now? Wait. No. Nice. Yeah, definitely. This is. Uh, remember, you guys got a letter that was crumpled in a hand. Of a, yes. dead body. of a dead body. I also got mm. that letter. That is that one. You can show that one on, on camera. What? Oh, Here are all Why the things are... that fell out of your pack. Uh, you, yeah, you know, they're now on the okay. table in the in the. Ooh. Wow, that is crazy. How awesome is that? Oh, and it comes pre-crumpled. But we so not not You're so much more impressed than my partners. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, well. You can tell them they're in. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is fantastic. indispensable. Indispensable. This is the uh, <laughs> invitation from Strahd himself oh. when he asked you guys to come to dinner. Who got that? Who one? got that? I don't think it was me. I just got a bag over my head. That's true. <laughs> right. I don't remember. Going, going. One of us. Uh, going. I'll uh, hold it in uh, front of the camera. Okay. Uh, sure. That's, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I've gotten nothing of paper. Oh. Two. Oh. There's more. Yeah, we it's awesome. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Fantastic. Two sealed nice. documents, not two sealed documents, but two documents. I believe these are the. Um, the deed to the mill? This is the deeds. This is the oh, deed. This you have that, right? I think I do. Yeah. The manor? Oh, uh -huh. not the, ma that one. the manor. Oh. oh, yes. And this is the deed to the windmill. So, <laughs> oh, man. Is so the, you guys the manor have the, the death house? The, uh, those are found in the jersey. Yeah, they were found in the Durst house, house with the kids. The, the so house, right? yeah. We yeah. burned both of those places down. You, you had the deed to the mill, and we burnt it to the ground? Yeah. Whoa, 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 guys. Yeah, that's who's a stone happened. building. You can't really burn down a stone building. Just the things on the front of it. And like honestly, wood, who, who's going to challenge a deed You also found this in the death house. Place. This is the letter uh, from Strahd to the Dursts. This is really cool. Uh -huh. This is really cool. Oh, oh man, that's this is a really good shot, too. I know, right? Yeah. Super wide yeah. shot. Look at that. Yeah. The Durst. Durst Windmill. Yeah. Oh, 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 I feel good now. There's lots, man. This is what I'm telling can you. There's tons of this box. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, uh, this is the letter on. from uh, Strahd to the Dursts that, that you found oh. also in Death House. Yes, that's wow. true. Strahd and the Durst. last thing you guys have collected so far is the Durst oh, family awesome. will. Man. His, his, his penmanship is delightful. Who, Matt? No, oh, Strahd. Strahd. <laughs> so, do we have to yeah, fill in it's the like... new proprietor info down here? Yes. Okay, so the, you guys have those um, okay, right. clues that you have kind of forgotten about, and now you have physical representations of <laughs> that. Uh, like maybe that you we can... shouldn't have burnt the place down. So uh, like, you this know, no, this is what we run? started the fires with. <laughs> They're all made of paper. Uh, <laughs> it's awesome. No, this is wow. Great. It's awesome. Thank you, yeah, Matt. The, um, we, yeah, we're super excited to share with you. Cool. Cool. So I, I'll let you know that. Uh, the will, the Durst will, and the deed to um, to both properties, we created those ourselves. So we wrote yeah. those, conceived those. They're found in the module, but we 
we it's not just a reprint of what they did. We went out and wrote it. So cool. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah, these are documents that don't exist. Yeah, some of these you don't guys, exist in the in the book. Yeah, yeah, and you guys have seen it before I have. Those are those are <laughs> hot. What? Impressive. The physical. Oh, yeah. what? because yeah. the thing yeah. is yeah. up yeah. the yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Epic. Yeah, cool. Anyway, awesome. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you. So, along with that, our giveaway today, um, the great people at Bill and Grimm. It's Grimm's, right? It's always Grimm's? Yes, always uh, yes. Grimm's. Uh, the good people at Beetle and Grimm's are giving away a Eberron box. What what level is that again? The gold box. The gold box. You're getting a, an Eberron gold what? box as a giveaway, and we're doing two t-shirts. So starting now, right? We're good? Yeah, yeah, good, totally. No, I'm oh, sorry, the producers. I just want to make sure that... You're good, you're good. Okay. Uh... That we uh, put in Beetle, B E A D L E, into the chat. B E A D L E, only once, more than once, you're disqualified, and you get a chance to win a box or one of the two t shirts um, tonight. And we'll do the draw in the break. Um, also, want to thank Sirenscape, who yes. is another awesome title sponsor for us. Uh, if you go to sirenscape.com slash realmsmith, um, you can check out uh, all of the sound sets that we use here at um, Realmsmith, as well as some of the ones that we actually created for um, for this campaign specifically. So if you put Realmsmith, what are the, the what box. are the ones you guys created? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was DMing last night and I want to buy them. Yeah, awesome. Um, if you if you put Realmsmith into the search bar, they'll come up. But the one is uh, Hopeless Village, and the other one is Death House. They're Into the Mist titled mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome um oh i didn't say matt if they want to check out uh what's going on with the boxes and stuff where can they go beetleandgrims.com yeah i'll i'll tell you right now we and i'm not exaggerating and this isn't just being um sort of pt barnum we have three platinum boxes left what wow, wow. yeah so we only make a thousand they're numbered and we've been on final countdown today so we have three Dude, that's, a, that's wow. one week that's one that, week. Oh. Yeah. No, no, this is uh, no, this is the Icewind Gale Icewind. box. Oh, they only okay. have three platinum. So the platinum. Oh, wow. Our straw box. Um, we increased the amount of boxes we ordered because okay. we do that with boxes that aren't <laughs> platinum boxes. So it's been an incredible, incredible run. And while I'm expecting while we're on the stream tonight, we'll sell our last box. And when we do, mm -hmm. we can all celebrate together. Oh, so fun. Awesome. Yeah, so love, fun. Love that to happen. Um, want to thank our product sponsors, WizKids, of course, um, Dwarven Forge for the awesome terrain that we have here. We also have another Dwarven load coming from them soon um, <laughs> for this uh, season, which is great. Um, Hero Forge, of course, we just painted the Dimitri. Can we put the Dimitri under the um, camera there? He's on the end, Joel. The blue guy? Uh, yeah, that's Dimitri. If you can show off Dimitri Melanie. Bring him right yeah. up there. Yeah, right up. So we just painted... I just painted oh, him nice. last night, and we posted it today. What? That is with a little wow. OSL from the lantern. Is those, those grays? Yeah, Are those grays in there? In the Barovia has been rough. OSL lighting. Man, just handsome. Just, yeah. What? Yeah. Very <laughs> handsome. And then this, I just got in the mail, surprise today. It's a color, it's one of um, Hero, Hero Forge's Forge. color prints. Oh, wow. That is the way it comes out. She that is not painted. Whoa. That is just she printed. Is I got it yeah. directly from them. They sent it out, so... That's awesome. crazy. Look at that gradient. Yeah, that's insane. We're not Gia facing that, yeah. that <laughs> particular <laughs> foe tonight. Yes. That's what I've been promised. Uh, <laughs> Mithril Armory, you guys yeah. literally just got these in the mail. These Ooh. are the tin 20s. This, this is the pack uh, that they come in. Um, and we're going to be giving some of those out the second half of the show tonight. Yeah. And Ooh. that is what you can make. Uh, it's really not. Uh, there we go. There we that go. is the tin there 20 that you pull out of the little thing and you fold and you Ooh. create. Uh, in case of emergency, yeah, build that emergency gameplay. Uh, and then, of course, the Indie Beyond as usual. Thank you so much, the Indie Beyond, for sponsoring as well. Okay, uh, a couple Ooh, more announcements. Hey, I know it's a lot of announcements. We're getting through them. That was just the sponsors. Discord <laughs> RP has been amazing. The Vistani have have done incredible things over the last while. We've upgraded so that they can upgrade their wagons and all that kind of stuff. Also, sorry, uh, Matt, is there a way that you can up your mic a little bit? Apparently, it's a little quiet. I don't know if there's a way that you can up that volume. Um, <laughs> we sure know. Oh, that, that's good acting. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, in the Discord, uh, it's been amazing. In fact, uh, one night last week, while they were doing a charity stream on Scoob's channel, 
uh, Julian, Dave, and I jumped on the Discord and did a direwolf attack and killed one of the Vistani in their camp. Sorry. <laughs> because there was only like three in the camp. But it was fun. That's and it was horrible. great. It was great. Felt it, was, so it was awesome. Uh, it's Barovia. Sure, it happens. It. It's what's so happened. that is going to continue to happen more. And we have lots of really exciting, fun things coming up in that Discord. So if you want to join, just subscribe on Twitch. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. You get different perks at different levels. And we're going to continue doing all that. The first quest is next week. It's already full. Uh, where Scoob, one of our uh, Smith Guardians, will take our community on a quest that ties to our campaign. Um, which is awesome. Extra life, as usual. The bar is, I always do that. The bar is over here. We have new items! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We have upped our uh, amount to 5,000. Nice. That is the goal for the season. Nice. It's uh -huh. lofty. It's double what we've already uh, raised. Um, but there are some crazy items in there that Gregory is going to tell you about. Okay, so we and he doesn't know about, but he's going to make it up as he goes. Okay. Uh, should I mention what they are now? Just yeah, so do. Know what yeah. Okay. Do. The first one is a Mithril chain shirt. Yes. Mithril, not Mithril. Uh, the know. second one is a vicious longsword. Uh, vicious. Oh. Third one is an arrow of vampire slaying. Whoa. Uh, fourth strong. one is uh, plus two arrows. Uh, plus there's two. five of them. And the last one, which is worth 5,000 gold, is an elven, a cloak, cloak of elven kind. What? what? Which is an uh, awesome item. So, Please. support for the kids, all of that stuff. Grigori will for be the in the kids. break to talk about it. For um, the kids. For the kids. Do, you, um, do we have oh, that widget in the Twitch, back yep. in the Twitch thing? Okay, so you it's can, on you can donate on the Realmsmith Twitch. So if you're on the Beetle or the, or the Dungeon Dreads, jump over. You can donate below the video and then go back to those channels and support those channels, please. <clears throat> uh, we do have merch. You can check it out. I'm not going to talk about it a lot, but it is also below. We should have our merch store back. Um, I know oh. it wasn't there. Behind the screen on Tuesday with myself, we'll talk about uh, do a QA and a as we usually do every week. I'm thinking about having a special guest, and I haven't asked her yet, Nora, but I was thinking about doing that. <laughs> uh, no press, though. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I will be there. Awesome. Nice. So we'll have Nora on tomorrow night. Player's table on Thursday. Nolzer's on Sunday. We didn't do Nolzer's last week because my production laptop was in for repairs. But that's it. Those are all the announcements. Whew. Only 22 that minutes was, in. That, oh. was, that was a lot. It was Sorry, a marathon. Guys. Sorry. But we are doing amazing giveaways tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so all true. Of that great stuff. Man. Now i got to like get into the... Into the zone here. We've had a couple yeah. donations to uh, to the kids already. Nice. Already? Yep. For the kids. For the kids. For the kids. For the kids. I love it. All right. Okay. Guys. <laughs> you have been. Um, I attack! <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> sorry, 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 Let's sorry. Do it. No. He's ready. Up. He's so ready. <laughs> Pumper Dickle. No. Uh, he's, ready. <laughs> he's so ready. Um, you guys have been brought to Barovia for a number of different reasons, that of which you are not aware of. Um, you gathered and um, fell into this ragtag group of adventurers um, over the last while. It has taken you on many adventures, including one which is to protect Irina who is the Burgermaster's daughter from the village of Barovia, who you have found is the quarry or the desire of Strahd von Zarevich, which is the dreadlord of this realm. Mm. Um, that of which you faced in a church in Velaki. You then attended dinner with him. Yes, we did. After that. And he asked you to bring Irina to him. And in return, he would allow you to be, to live, to exist and not take Esmeralda back to be one of his thralls. Um, you went back to, uh, well, back and forth. Bone Grinder met some hags, found that the pies you've been eating weren't favorable. Went back to Velaki, found Irina after going to Kresk, took Irina to Kresk with Anna to meet Dimitri Kreskov, the burgomaster of Kresk, found out that the abbot from the Abbey of St. Markovia wants Irina to come to the Abbey. In return, he would raise his last living heir from the dead. Um, you've decided to, instead of waiting for the Abbot to arrive, you've decided to move to the Abbey 
on your own, of your own volition. Climbing the mountain, it started to get cold, started to snow. You entered the gates, you met two interesting characters. Um, a mismatch of animalistic traits uh, on what seem, seems to be dwarvish frames. You asked to see the abbey, the abbot, sorry. Keep mixing with that. Thanks, Mel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, one of them said, yeah. <clears throat> Rushed inside the walls, came back out. The abbot presented himself in front of you. Mm -hmm. He is a young, very handsome, flawless skin, mm -hmm. short hair, wearing a holy symbol of the morning lord around his neck. He greeted you all to the abbey, and then telepathically, uh, Callie, you heard him say, Callie, welcome home. And that is where we'll start the session with you guys. Do. Well, what does Callie do in response? Well, she may not do anything. It's telepathic, but yeah. Just yeah. Is it, is it my, it's my time? Well, it's, it's my time? Whatever you, I don't know. Is you ready? Is it my 15 minutes of fame? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Three uh, hours, actually. So. <laughs> I'll talk slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I hear him, I hear the voice. Yeah. And I kind of like just look around with my eyes and kind of mm. scan everybody to see if they heard. Yeah. Does anybody else happen to look at me or hear it? No. Okay. Uh, well, give me an insight check first. Okay, uh, 12 and, um, and insight is why I can't go down on this thing. Why does it? Um, oh, there we go. Insight, insight is 6. So. 18. Okay. With an 18, uh, you look around. Nobody else has heard it. It's clear. Yeah. You don't know if you heard it audibly even still. Okay. But as soon as you look around, you realize it was just in your head. Okay. And when you look at him, his gaze is fixed upon you. Okay. Um, and you are um, not enraptured uh, against your will. Yeah. But there is a charisma about him. Yeah. Um, that And a warmth uh, uh, that has greeted you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so I, I look around. After looking around, nobody, like has made eye contact with me, I kind of, I reach down mm -hmm. and I um, kind of tap on my flask. Mm -hmm. And then I, I look down on my hand and I start like counting. Mm -hmm. And I'm counting the numbers of drinks that I had <laughs> compared to the hours that we've been walking. Okay. <laughs> Just seeing if I may be oh, still good. drunk. Uh, yeah. I realize that no, no, I'm completely sober and I heard this voice. Yeah. Um, so oh. then I reach down and I just put my hand on my dagger. Okay. Magical dagger? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just staring at him. Yeah. And he knows that I know, that yeah. I heard him. Yeah, he's aware. Um, and I, I just am locked eyes and I'm just listening and watching yeah. him intently. Okay. And that's all. I'm not ready to like say yeah. anything or do anything. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll speak out to the abbot. <clears throat> Sir, uh, you must be the abbot of this abbey. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we are here to uh, to um, make contact with you, I believe, right? That's why we are here? Is that why we are here? That is why we are here, right? Yes. Sure. Yeah, doesn't we have those bones? Or did they get those back? Right. The bones. Mm hmm Yes, we were sent on a mission. And... We brought these bones with us. He kind of <laughs> looks around like he's not getting the full story, waiting for you to kind of politely waiting for you to, because there obviously seems to be some confusion about what's, <laughs> what's going on right now. To me, I, think I think everyone forgot the plan. What was the plan, I guess? Okay, yeah. so the plan was we were going to uh, play the part that we are still doing what Strahd wanted us to do. Assuming that the abbot is in with Strahd as well. But right. we left the bones with with uh, did we with what's yeah, her head I, back? Irina the, has them the so that she'll oh, be safe. Nice. So that she'll yeah. be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's okay, the best. So like, we got his bones. <laughs> uh, okay, so we um. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, ab Mr. Abbot, <laughs> we have uh, we've uh, we've we need your help because uh, perhaps you can. Uh, Perhaps you know someone that we know? Link, link, nudge, nudge. A uh, man of great power who sent us here. Perfect hair. You no, know, like 
very beautiful skin. Likes Big organ. <laughs> Enjoys high altitudes. We may very have, good taste in home decor. He looks a little confused. We may have a you mutual friend. Straw. Von Zarvich. Oh, yeah. Why do you speak in riddles? You may speak plainly here. It is safe. Oh, we didn't know if everybody was in on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I literally look at him like, are you okay? Is that a condition? Or, no, I'm... I can perhaps help. It's a secret. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. What okay. brings you now, to he, Now, he might I'm... have something. No, you're right. <laughs> He might, he might have something. Uh, but uh, The air's really dry. <laughs> we think that perhaps we have a mutual friend, as Dimitri was saying. Yeah. In Mr. Strahd. We went to his uh, to his home and we had dinner with him. He served us uh, some wonderful food and we have made a pact. I gave him some of my blood? Look, it Scar was, is showing. Oh, it was... Uh, confusing you see his first, eyes but, like, uh, narrow when you say that you gave him some of your blood. Yeah, you, you know. are allied with Strahd. Yeah, we are here with his specific demands in our minds. And what are those demands? Uh, we need to set him up with Irina because uh, you know he seems pretty lonely and you know we thought that they'd be a good match together plus he seems to have something for her but i don't know she just needs a little bit of convincing irena yes is, is she here she is no no she's not here. not here <clears throat> but we thought we heard that maybe you, you uh, knew them uh, a little and that you could help us get her uh, for him mm. right your plan is to turn Irina over. Well, to we, we want to talk to her, obviously, because he wants her to go by of her free will. So, you know. Yeah, that's the tricky part. We don't want to be like overbearing. So that is why we are partnering potentially with you, if you would say yes, to, since you know her and we do not really know her, uh, for you to perhaps help convince her that this is best for the whole. Of Barovia for them to match make. Right, except you know, we we just can't have her falling in love with you instead. Am I right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Look at him! Yes. Wow, he's, he's, stone he's cold a beautiful of man. Well, I am expecting Irina to arrive in Kresk oh. shortly. Oh, well, yeah, and then and she was going to come stay with me. Well, maybe we for could safety. Maybe we could wait here until she arrives and we can work as one, as one glorious party. Have you met the two of you? Uh, Abit, this is Rectavio. He's amazing. And, uh, I'll do, I'll do um, an extraordinary bow. And as I do, Jason, I'm going to look around to see if those dwarven half creatures yeah. are like on our six. Like, where are they? I just want to make sure we're not being. Um, you yeah, know, the, the, about to be attacked. Yeah, perception check, please. Oh, glorious, darling. Glorious. Ooh, a 19. Ooh, Ooh you are. Hi, guys. Still fire. Nice. Still fire. Yes. Um, You're welcome anytime. Uh, 23. Yeah. Um, you. Uh, so the one that went and got him, uh, the one right. that kind of has a wolf snout um, and the patches of donkey fur. Uh, right. is kind of behind his legs and he's kind of <laughs> kind of looking around and kind of waiting. Uh, the other do one... I see, do I see any weapons on him other than that shovel? I no. mean, does he have that on him? He doesn't even have the shovel and there are okay, no, right. there are no okay. visible weapons. Um, okay. And the other one has retreated back into the gatehouse behind you. Okay, so I'll do an extraordinary bow and introduce myself. Hello, and my name is Rictavio. My friends call me Rictav. God ye good den. Uh, and I'll extend my hand to shake his hand. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so he is about <laughs> he's about ten feet from you. Uh, do you step forward? Then? I'll I'll, I'll close. close the space and go yeah. to reach for him. Yeah. And he takes your hand and he shakes it and he places his hand on yours. Okay. And he greets you and he he bows. He says, "I oh. I don't quite. Uh, do you speak for this group?" Oh, I um, 
I do to some extent, yes, but we are, I've just met them on the road as well. They seem to have the same intentions I do, which are to bring the great and all powerful Strahd together with the beautiful arena. And that is what I think would be best for Barovia. So I have lent my voice to their journey. Perhaps we can go inside. It is so frigid outside. You have to forgive my my thin skin. It's very can cold. We, can we make it our way into the abbey? Would that be all, in the abbey? Is that all right? But, but yes, of, of course. Uh, it is quite cold. Uh, let us head Great. into the I'll, courtyard. I'll break towards where he came from. Oh, freezing! I am. Okay. Oh, so he he just turns calmly and starts to walk. Just get throwing them in. There's stuff that you can't quite You do. arrive I in a pile. See a thing. <laughs> you arrive in a pile. <laughs> uh, precarious. Some very nice minis there. Oh, oh, look at this beautiful work. Oh, Truly really glorious. Oh, is there anything? Look at it. Alright. Oh, Sterling, you fell away. Who's this? Uh, yeah. That's uh, you did notice that as you were kind of in that open area, with that perception check, when you kind of looked around, and the rest of you noticed it too, there were gardens to the left with some scarecrows in it. There is that building to the right, and then there is a gatehouse in front of you uh, that stands that looked like there were two kind of guards standing in the parapets oh. that you kind of passed under um, as you as you walked through. Um, but they weren't moving. Um and with that 23, you actually notice that they, even from, from the, the angle that you were at, uh, Rictavio, that they appear to be scarecrows, actually just propped up on the top wall um, okay. to give the illusion that there is, there is somebody yeah, kind somebody of watching. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think not uh, a 15-foot high curtain wall joins the abbey uh, two wings. Uh, behind its battlements, two guards, as I said, stand at attention, which you now know are scarecrows. Um, Below them, set into the wall, is a pair of 10-foot tall wooden doors, reinforced with bands of steel. Hmm. Um, to the right of these doors, mounted on the wall, is a tarnished co copper plaque that you see. And this is, these are the doors that you kind of head towards as you, as you enter the area. Uh, and do you just push those doors open, Rotavio, and kind of help yourself in, or do you wait for the abbot? Yes, I do. I, I, like, as if it's no big deal, I make my way into the warmth, um, going on, bring about how cold it is. Okay, so you you kind of press onto the and they're heavy, but they're not locked, uh, and they they open inward and you step. Hey guys, Whoa. we're back. Whoo. Apologize Whoa. for that. I don't know what happened there. Um, it's Barovia. Barovia. I blame the abbot. Yep. I blame the abbot. He's it was, trying to stop us. All, yeah. He's too handsome. He's trying to stop us. All right, where were we? Barovia top. Yeah. Entering, yeah. We're going to read. The I was walking in, Jay. Yes. I was uh, claiming to be super cold. My question though was. Are we walking through the front gate, or are we in the courtyard about to walk into the abbey itself? You're I'm walking, yeah, you're walking through the wall into the courtyard. So you're okay. in, the, oh, okay. in the outer courtyard area within the north gate. Now you're walking through that. I was asked what the uh, plaque says. Yeah. Uh, the plaque reads the abbey's name, so the Abbey of St. Markovia, and then under it it says, May her light cure all illness, okay. is what it says. Um, you enter through the doors as you kind of push your way through. Um, and everyone comes in behind you. The thick fog that fills the courtyard swirls as if eager to escape. The courtyard is surrounded by a 20-foot high curtain wall on which stand several guards with their backs to you, or so it seemed at first. It's clear now that these guards are, mere, guards are merely scarecrows. Wooden doors to the north and east lead to the abbey's two wings. So there's a door under this uh, kind of bridge area here, mm -hmm. and there's a door under there as well. And there's a door you can see on the, on the second floor of both of those as well. Mm. Um, in the center of the courtyard is a stone well fitted with an iron winch to which a rope and bucket are attached. Along the perimeter tucked under the overhanging wall are several padlocked doors set into the wall um, as well as three shallow alcoves that contain wooden troughs. Mm. A wooden post is pounded into the rocky earth and has iron rings bolted to it. Chained to one of them is a short humanoid with bat-like wings and what appears to be spider mandibles. Hmm. Instantly, the quiet is shattered by a horrible scream that comes from one of the padlocked doors as you enter this area. 
Is this more or less how you guys have kind of entered and you, you spread out a little bit? Yeah, kind of like okay. that. Can we yeah. get it? it yeah. Just, just how Jay, Joel dropped oh. us in. Just, <laughs> just it was Adam, thank you very much. <laughs> Go ahead. Far enough apart that I'll ball. stay close by at Octavio. Uh, okay, so you'll Very have, smart child. You've come Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to get charmed you again. First. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> the abbot Ooh. kind of follows behind you. This guy kind of runs over here. Is that more or less where you guys want to be? Uh, does it, where sure, where am I, Jake? Can you just point to me, please? Yeah, so this is Rictavio right in front. Okay. With your arms out. That's Esmeralda beside you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wish we could get a better better view of that. Can we put it up here and get like a down? Oh, yeah. Or... Maybe. Maybe. Of the whole courtyard? Yeah, I'm trying, man. You can do it. Fine, bro. Okay. I believe in you. As that happens, we'll continue on here. Okay, so as you kind of enter the area, like uh, I, I mentioned more or less uh, what you see, uh, Rektavi, you, you were the kind of the first through the area. What do you do as you kind of come through? Um, and take it all in. Um, I'm going to... As we start to move through, I'm going to make eyes with the rest of my compatriots and just see if the horror of the situation that I'm witnessing is registering on their faces. Yeah. Can I get a perception check? Yeah. Well, give me insight, actually. Uh, okay. I. Uh, it's a 10. Okay. Um, with a 10. What does he glean? Like, how do you guys feel about the current situation? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's this this small creature, and obviously this abbot is taking his his freedoms to create these beings. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm just dis- disgusted and afraid for them. For these beings. For these beings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm also very. So you uh, get fear and disgust from you get fear. I would say, name an emotion. So without going right through what you're feeling, just yeah. name an emotion for each of you. Trepidation. Okay. Uh, curiosity. Okay. Protective, or being protective, I guess. Okay. And I'm cautiously optimistic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good. All right, so you all um, enter. Dis- uh, Esmeralda, yeah? Distrust. Distrust, okay. So that's what you kind of catch as you kind of gleam around, and you all kind of catch that there's an unease uh, amongst the party. Um, so there's just the one guy on the wall chained up? So so there's right here, this post in the middle here, mm-hmm. yeah. there is a creature that is po- chained like this, and it's got, like I said, bat wings, spider manibles, humanoid, um, but kind of like... Yeah. Does it say anything on the on the post? No. Th- it's not a signed post. It's just how, a... How is he acting? Is he scared? Is he aggressive? Um, He's chained. He screams, he screams right? Afraid... <laughs> And protective is what you initially get. With any uh, any sort of insight role, you you get the idea that they're kind of afraid and protective oh, and like like protecting themselves. Like, yeah, and, and somewhat um, uh, territorial. Can we tell if it's been abused at all or hurt or insight check? Sure. You looking for physical abuse or you looking yep. for looking for signs of abuse? Uh, med- medicine check, please. Okay, that will be a seventeen. Okay. Nice. Um, one sec. Um, okay, this creature stands five feet tall, wiry, spindly build, uh, and has three red spider eyes on the right side of, of his face. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, I that is not true. Hang on one sec. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Uh, the creature stands four feet, five inches tall, and has a hunched posture. Long, stringy black hair uh, hides much of her face, but clearly visible are the spider mandibles and teeth that replace her human mouth. She has the arms and wings of a bat, as well as a cloven hoof in place of her right foot. She doesn't allow anyone to get close, um, as she kind of, again, is protective, and she kind of steps up like this and steps back, and is obviously very unnerved by the presence yeah. of you as, does, as you come in. Does she look like she's been there for a while? Um, yes. You can see that, that the, the flesh kind of around her wrists indicate that she's been here for a bit. 
I would like to say. But uh, sorry, but otherwise not injured, like tortured or anything like that. Right. Yeah, just just kind of wear and some some um, inflammation and so like bleeding dry around skin. Her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, around her wrists. wrists. I'm going to say, um, Abbott, what was this creature's crime? Yeah, and as it, as he kind of steps around, he stops and turns to speak to you, uh, and kind of address you as as he kind of leads the way towards the building with the belfry uh, that the chimney had the smoke coming out of. Right. Hmm. Um, and he says, Crime? There is no crime I that just... is committed. It is... She is chained up. Her, her name is Marzena. She's chained up for her, for her own good. I just assumed that anyone chained up like this would be punished for some sort of misdeed. Is that not the case? Sometimes those need to be protected from themselves. Protected from well, what themselves? Sh- Sorry, go ahead. I jumped in. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm getting outraged. Yeah. I'm mad. Yeah. I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> in real life. No, Adam. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Um, what? Uh, help me understand how uh, chaining someone up with manacles to a post helps them in any way at all. Could we not uh, uh, perhaps have her on the bed or have her in a more comfortable situation? Uh, and and how, point, did, you're how did she come to be, to be captured in the first place? Please, will you come in? It is cold. Come in out of the cold. And I will tell you, or I can tell you here, if you prefer. It is, I must say, it is quite cold indeed, but the answer is pressing, is it not? There's a creature tied up in the freezing cold outside. More to the point, this creature must be freed in the name of all that is holy and abbot indeed. This is outrageous. All right, well, allow me to explain myself. I, more than a hundred years ago, I was sent here to honor the legacy of St. Markovia. I reopened the abbey and began tending to the physically and mentally ill. In so doing, I hope to bring some much-needed light to Barovia. A long time ago, a family of sickly, inbred lepers came to this abbey seeking salvation. I rid them of their diseases, an act for which they were eternally grateful. But I could not cure them of certain human defects that had been present since birth. I became consumed by the desire to read the poor Bellevues of their lingering imperfections. The Bellevue family, however, had strange ideas of what it meant to be perfect. They didn't want to be ordinary humans. They wanted the eyes of a cat, the wings of a bat, the strength of a mule and the guile of a snake. In short, they craved bestial traits, and I taking pity on them, yielded to their mad desires. That which I live with to today, and that which I regret to this day. Is he telling the truth? Yeah, can we tell if he's telling? Insight check. Insight. All of us? Yeah, whoever whoever is trying to look into it. 18. 23. 16. Uh, 10. 15? Okay, so anybody, uh, over a 10, he exudes charisma, and you want to just hear him read the phone book. He's the type of person <laughs> whose voice and whose presence is just welcoming. Anybody of a 15 or up, uh, you absolutely know that he is believes completely what he's saying hmm. and is convicted completely by what he's saying. But how are you to be so sure about what is an imperfection or not? Yes. How, how would you know, or how would they know what is perfect and what is imperfect? I believe nothing is perfect short of the Morning Lord himself. I wanted to ease their suffering. I wanted them to be complete. I, want them to, I wanted them to be who they wanted to be, and I had the ability to do that. My early experiments proved fatal to my subjects, but 
The Bellevue's insisted that I keep trying. Huh. Can I go talk to Marzana? You can absolutely try. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I, no, no, I was asking that. Yeah, but oh. Um, she's I, not much for conversation. Oh, can I give her something to eat? She is well fed, I assure you. Well, why, why is she in the cold? Well, yeah. She doesn't play nicely with others. Can she not play nicely with others in the warmth? Maybe she would be in better spirits if she was not shackled. Where are the others? Inside, I have separated them into rooms. Of, they are able to stand, if it, as it were. Uh, they tend towards certain types of madness. I can't quite understand it, but they are safe. Sure, let's go inside then. I mean, come on. How <laughs> badly could it be? I mean, this is a post holding a being here, s uh, others hiding behind you like as if you are their master. Surely there's nothing interesting inside. Let's go there and warm up. Sorry, this is sarcasm. I understand sarcasm. Okay, good. Because that's what it was. Yeah, so... I sense judgment. No, no, we're, oh. we're, we all just want to work together here for Strahd. Mm. Not like to get into fights about who's colder than who. <laughs> right, okay. So I ask again, are you allies of the Dreadlord? Oh, oh yeah. We're, we're all, you know, well, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we st I start doing this as the question hangs in the air. Yeah. I will kind of move gently inside and be like, indeed, I am freezing. We can discuss the... <laughs> the ramifications of tying up a creature in the freezing cold inside the wall. Yes, uh, I think I think we could all sing Strahd's praises inside. Good point. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, he turns and he starts to lead you into the building. As he, t his back's to us, right? Yep. So Jason, I'll look at the other group and like go like this. Like, as if to say, what What are we going to do? What are we doing? Yeah. 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 Are, we, are we attacking or are we playing along? Like, what are we doing? Just uh, uh, go ahead. As I walk away, I want to turn towards um, Mar Mar Marzana here and show her my teeth. Be like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> she's, she's, wow. Okay. Are you sure we can't chain him up? <laughs> Is there another pole? I'm trying to build Is rapport. <laughs> Is there another pole? Let's find another pole. As you, okay, so as you turn, you start to follow. Uh, I need a follow uh, order for you guys, please. I'll go right I'm, behind. I'm behind. Being the smallest, I'll be at the Can back. Can we get a, a large view of the... Uh, I'll be near the back too because I was trying to build rapport with. The okay, so you're over here. I'll, I'll be with. Sorry, where, where are you, uh, Esmeralda? With Rictavia? I was, I was following. Yeah, close okay. behind. Uh, Sterling, be next to Callie, wherever she's. <sighs> okay, so you guys are kind of here. Yeah. Uh, and Falfer. Yeah, I'm at the back. Yeah, I'll be near Falfer. I didn't walk towards okay. All right. her, but. Okay, so he starts to enter uh, the uh, building. Oh boy. Dwarven Forge. Oh. This is the, the problem with this is I got to do this. Who happen to be? Set the, this they happen to be doing a Kickstarter right now, aren't they? Yes, I forgot to say that. No, it's the good. The Kickstarter it's just... raised millions of dollars in the first nine hours. What? Amazing. Yes. Ninety minutes. Sorry, first no. ninety minutes they raised almost two, two million. Two million Canadian. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Dwarven Forge. Dwarven Forge. Dwarven Forge. Yeah. For their most recent uh, release. Wildlands is it? Dang. For Wildlands. Wildlands. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congrats, so congrats to those gentlemen. guys. Go we'll check it out and support. More of this wonderfulness exists. Mm. Dwarven Great support. People at Dwarven, Dwarven support. support. Okay, so the abbot walks into the room. Uh, the they call him mongrel folk. Uh, he kind of skitters off and through the front gate again. Okay, so that, to, to the little he, guy who was behind yeah, him. Yeah, 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 and he kind of just runs around and he kind of goes out, okay, out, see the, you later. out the door. All right. Okay. Um, I'd like you to move all your minis. Uh, Rotavio, are you following directly behind him? Yes. You'll please. be the first to kind of enter the room, leave him there. Okay. I'll be the uh, first to die. Yeah, you'll be the first to die. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, so and then, then that's where I'll behind. And then you can just move all the yeah. other minis up. Yeah, please. put all the NPCs at the front. 
<laughs> oh, that's all I am to you is Ned Keesby. <laughs> <laughs> <You> Hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it's just a name. <laughs> All right, guys. Somebody is peeing that scene. <laughs> I got a bounce. Uh, okay. Gentle music trickles down from above, played on a single stringed inter- instrument by some unseen master. The ground floor is one large 50-foot square room with arched leaded glass windows. A cauldron sits on an iron rack above a fire in a hearth while above the fireplace mantle hangs a golden disc engraved with the symbol of the sun. Mm. In one corner, a wooden staircase climbs to the upper level, while in another corner, a uh, stone stone staircase descends into darkness. Mm. Um, He ushers you in, Rictavio, as you kind of enter, uh, and you see that there is a woman who sits at at the end of the table opposite to where you've entered. Um... In she, looking at her, yeah, um, yeah, you're over here. Is she? What is she armored? Is she? Yeah, so she sits at the at the basically the foot of the table, um, and she has a she is dressed in a red dress. She's got pale skin, and she has a veil, a black veil that covers her face, and she stands still with her hands firmly on the table in front of her hmm. as you all enter. She doesn't turn to, to see you. She just completely still sits at the end of the table. Veiled, I just kind of covering elbow her. Octavio, like, check out this weird thing going on. Yeah, I don't like anything about this. The veil, she looks evil. I mean, this is not good. The, ab- like <laughs> the abbot circles and kind of stands beside her and welcomes you all in and asks you to come and sit. Please, join me, and I will explain. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Where do you want to sit, Rictavio? I am not sitting. I will okay. go to the opposite end of that big table okay. and stand there and put my back against the wall. Okay. Esmeralda? Uh, Who's next? Could we get cautiously the, the... looking over to see Rictavio standing, but also not wanting to cause any conflict. I will sit at the end of that table, so the opposite with Rictavio right behind you. Yeah, I'll okay. sit. At, I'll sit there. Dimitri, I'll go. I'll just sit right in the middle there. Okay. Hmm. Sterling. Sterling is next. Where to? Yeah, I'll, I'll sit at the end of the table, just to the right of uh, Esmeralda. To the right. Okay. Yes. Callie? I want to walk all the way behind, behind them? Behind him. Okay. okay. And wow. I want to stop right behind him for a second and look at his back to yeah. see if I can see so any you're just type doing of like a... wing. I realize I can't see my wings. Right. When they we're just trying to get a sense from getting close to him. I want to see if I can see Okay. Anything. Give me a perception check as you kind of come, up, come around. And you see Callie start to like... And you remember last time she did this, she was with Strahd and asked to touch his organ. Uh, but she's kind of getting kind of a wide berth. And he just sits um, calmly as you kind of walk around. What did 14. you do? Um, with a 14? No. You don't notice anything kind of different. He looks like a humanoid. Um, but as you kind of cross behind him, he says, only you can hear in your head. He says, please, my child, sit. Okay, and then I want to sit as close to the wine bottle as I can. Okay. <laughs> right in front of the word wine. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm still outside here. In, yeah. the, in, in the time that we start walking this way, yeah. and this guy comes out here. You're on the stairs? Can I, oh. yep. can I okay. quickly ask this guy as we're heading in? I just want to ask him a couple questions. Okay, sure. So see, are, are you one of the Belfews? Yeah. yeah. Is that true, what he said about helping you? <laughs> yeah. So you don't need help? Mm. Oh. Okay. And I'll just go. Okay, I'll, I'll run up and catch okay. the group. Okay. And, Where do you want to uh, sit? Yeah, I'll yeah. sit. So everybody's standing. Okay. I'll look around like, why is everybody standing? Are you trying to stay hidden? Uh, yeah, no, on not the hidden. Stairs? Just just inconspicuously back on the stairs. Yeah. Who's that? Dimitri? So like a little, check little, little beast. You're, You're trying to stealthy. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll sit beside uh, Meats, <laughs> as we call him. Meats. Yeah. And like I said, they just basically just, she's sitting still <laughs> with her hands on the table, very, very still, looking forward. He sits down beside her. 
25. Natural 20. <gasps> so, natural 20. Okay. He doesn't seem to notice at this point, nor does anyone else. In fact, you all kind of wonder where, where Falfur has gone. Hmm. I'll uh, turn to the woman sitting there, and I'll say, Hello there. <laughs> okay. uh, <General> Kenobi. <laughs> she kind of she turns her head slowly. I'm waiting for the like this, and she goes, and then turns her head back. Oh! Wow! We were denying. <laughs> it's the not doing anything that's the not scariest. Not the first time. So, uh, she at least can moved. We see. Can we see through the veil? I mean, is there any? Visage at all that we can get our eyes on. Investigation check. <laughs> Any eyes to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a crit. Whoa! Okay. Natural twenty. Awesome. Critical success. With the, with the we are dice. we are going to be selling um, Matthew Lillard limited edition <laughs> dice starting <laughs> next episode. The veil. I got yeah. I got fancy dice from Watsy and they roll really high, so I think they're for <laughs> sure changed. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, so the veil the veil is um, not completely opaque. Um, it is kind of a really thick lace, um, but you kind of hone in and try to catch features, and you do see that her skin is very pale, kind of throughout the entirety of her body. Um, you notice, though, that the pale stops and goes into a darker tone under the veil. Oh, but you do, but you do definitely see distinct eyes through. Um, what you also notice is a stitch line that goes across and down and under kind of her shoulder mm -hmm. <laughs> and a stitch line <laughs> across her left wrist. Huh. Like stitches. Uh, okay. It's totally normal. Okay. This is... Um, this so totally not unusual at all. No, it's fine here. I'll uh, I'll cast a detect evil. Okay. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get away with a detect evil without okay. him seeing it. Uh, and um, give me the range on that. Um, stand by. Uh, it's thirty feet. I think thirty feet. Yeah. Uh, you do not detect and is it evil and good? Or is it just evil? Yes, it's evil. Uh, it's evil and good. Okay, so you do not detect evil in the room. Uh huh. Do I detect good? You detect good emanating from the abbot. So detect evil and good. I cast that, and then we got corrected on it, because because I guess it changed at some point. So detect evil and good for the duration. If you know if there's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within thirty feet. Uh, similarly, you know if there's a place or object. That has been magically consecrated or desecrated. Oh, so so you so you don't get evil or good. That's detect evil and good. I, I think there's a there's another uh, if, one. But if he, yeah, but so, it's celestial, yeah. elemental, fey or fiend. Yeah, okay. undead. Yeah, or, or undead. undead. Or undead. Yeah. Or undead. Okay, so so you don't get undead. Okay. Do um, you get celestial? Um. You don't get celestial either. Whoa. Huh. Hmm. Well, Fair I've all. been at you know <laughs> at this point with my experiences at dinner parties. Uh, I'm going to cast protection protection from evil and good on myself. Okay. Hmm. And he doesn't seem to mind. Doesn't pay notice, and he can see that you guys are casting because uh, it's obvious unless you're trying to hide it. I was trying to hide yeah, it. Okay. Were... I was, you know, I, I try to be stealthy, but okay. okay. Even still, he doesn't seem to take notice. So okay. whether or not you feel like you have you have succeeded, he begins okay. and he says, "Allow me to explain." Please. One day, a Barovian lord named Vasily von Holtz visited the abbey. I knew at once that the man was evil, but he stressed that he only wanted to help. He furnished me with forbidden lore plucked from the Amber Temple, then helped me transform the Bellevues into what they are today. The Bellevues were finally happy, albeit mentally unstable. Only then did von Holtz reveal himself to be the Devil Strahd. In that moment, I realized that any attempt to slay Strahd would be futile. 
that the ancient curse upon the land meant that the vampire could never truly die, at least not in Barovia. Hmm. Strahd confided in me, lamenting his curse and telling me that he wished nothing more than to, sca to escape Barovia. I pitied him and set for myself the goal of finding a cure for Strahd's malady. Ultimately, ending Barovia's curse. And I found it. Let me show you. Yes. What? Yes, do. Yes, of course. Cure Strahd. Cure him of his malady. You truly believe you can cure him? And you're saying that Strahd cannot die in Barovia? That is my belief. That never will he truly perish. C can I pick up this, the tone, because we were hoping to, to ally with him as if, like, we were buddies of Strahd. What, what is his, his tone here? Like, when he says he can't die in Barovia, is it like a, like a, I'm going to help him because he can't? Or a, we should get him out of here so we can kill him? Um, again, and I'll, I'll allow the insight rules to, 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 to set. He sounds like he believes what he's saying. Hmm. So um, he's okay. Yeah. Th there doesn't seem to be any sort of attempt to okay. say any different. With my role, would I glean his. Whether or not he is al allied with Strahd and, like, if what we had said before bothered him, you know, is it that he, he wants to end the evil in, in Barovia kind of thing? Like, it, it can, do I glean anything on one way or the other with him? Um, you definitely feel like, again, he believes what he's saying. So, yeah. so, so he believes that Strahd cannot be fully killed, right. and that there has to be some other sort of cure. That he's given up his his desire or 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 um, attempt to destroy Strahd. That's why he came in the first place. Hmm. Um, but is now believes that there is another way. How does this story? match up with anything that uh, Van Richten might have taught me. History check. Uh, 13 plus stuff, uh, 16. Um, in the study that Van Richten has done, he believes that he can be killed as a vampire would. Um, and that is kind of the research that you or, or the information that you had gleaned from what he had gotten to, up to that point. Um, so then... But, but, the, but the curse upon Barovia is also greater than any magic that a vampire, that he has known a vampire to have. So is there more at work? He hasn't come to that, to that kind of conclusion yet. The abbot continues. I am convinced that the cure to Barovia's curse lies in reuniting Strahd with his lost love. I am so very close. Just one missing piece remains. He lifts the veil to reveal that Vasilica is faceless. Where you expected to find a pale-skinned visage of a Barovian female, you find a bare skeletal face. Uh, uh. So eyes lidless resting in its sockets. Okay, that's what I was going to say. But we saw eyes. Oh, right, they're lidless. Yeah. Hanging in her face. <laughs> yeah, like I, 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 I touch Busted. my nose and I, I do this to him. Like, oh, I see I see where you're going with this. In your, in your mind, Callie, when you do that, yeah. you hear, my dear Callie, long have you heard my voice. Little did you know that I was ever drawing you closer to me. Closer to your destiny. Oh, to your face. He wants I your knew face you would come, drawing to me exactly what we need to redeem this land together. Tell me where she is. Shoot. Nobody else hears it. Oh, crap. So who, who is his true love? Uh, yes, who's... Who is, who is she? If we need to reunite him, who is it? Strahd had one true love, Tatiana. I His soul has ever been linked with her. And my belief is that every... 
number of years, she is reborn in somebody. Her soul is transferred, and I believe her soul lies in Irina. Okay, just uh, help me understand this a little ah. bit. So, Strahd, he knows he wants Irina. He yes. believes he will be freed from this land if we bring her to him under her own volition. That is correct. If we do this thing, then perhaps Strahd releases us from Barovia as well. Is there any guarantee that if what we do for Strahd yields the results he needs, that we would be freed from this place? There is no one. But yes, of course. What say you, Octavio? There is no way Strahd lets us go free, no matter what he says. You know as well as we do. He is the very devil himself. So, your plan then is to take your creature, this woman thing, and give it to the devil. Is that your idea? Is that what will save him? Is that what will bring him joy? Is that what he will he will then find and release the people of this of this land? Is that your thought? Don't you see that as crazy? This land has no sanity. This land does not adhere to the rules of the plains of other areas I have traveled to. My intention is to draw Irina here so that I may ask her to make the ultimate sacrifice, to give her life so that the Morning Lord may shine freely upon Barovia again. Okay, wait a moment. That the mists would disperse in the glory of his radiance. Okay, but wait a moment. Whoa, Falfa, are you under the stairs? I'm over here, yes. I've been talking from the darkness. Listen, this whole place is dark, but if you can hear me, this is what I have to say. If you are saying that uh, that Irina can live inside of this shell of a woman at the end of the table, is that what you're saying? No, I just need her face. Oh, but she <gasps> said that her soul was in Irina, and I don't think the soul is in the face. No, I agree with you. I like mean, if you left the face on her, no, but her, some people have said, you know, okay. the eyes are okay. the oh, windows but she's to got the soul. Eyes, it's not the eyelids are the window. <laughs> True, she has eyes. I think if you left Irina whole, it would probably work better. I, well, I got the impression that Strahd this woman that Strahd is, is pining for is, is, has been reincarnated and now into Irina, then why stitch together this in the first place? <laughs> yeah, like Irina looks a little better. There's a lot less scars visible. You've seen her. Well, I mean, from what we've heard from people, Wait, they were like, she's check. alive. Perception check? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> Sterling, you were saying something though. What, uh, what? Ten. Where is she? Um. Well, uh, we saw her. Where did we see her? Back in the. Markovia. They said she was somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Why and... do you lie? Um, I have told you nothing but truth. Yeah, that's true. But. <laughs> All I'm saying is that she looks better than this one you made, and I know you probably spent a lot of time on this particular model, but she's the scars are really obvious. Yes, of course. There are reasons. Even in relation to the other ones you made, this one is a little bit of work. Yeah, like in the progress. spider one was even better. Better than this one. This one's kind of. Uh, if you keep the veil on, Strad might not. There have been many times. This is a monstrosity. The thing that stands before us, this hunk of flesh. He's a monstrosity. Yeah, we're so trying to be nice. Yeah, wait. Yeah, she but can't what, understand. Are we doing? what are we doing? Why are we appeasing no. this? Mo are you? Are you? Are you an? Are you a monster maker? Is that what you are? The lady at the the lady at the end of the table with her <laughs> lack in the face just kind of tilts her head and looks at you when you call her a monstrosity. Is she smiling? No. <laughs> she doesn't have lips. I don't think she, she has lips have yet. Lips. <laughs> and he says, "No, okay. I am merely someone who is looking for a way to free this land. I have tried everything, centuries. Who are you, Rictavio? You are but a 
man of how many years? I have lived for thousands. Oh, yeah. Is, but you wouldn't take this one over Irina if the two were in front of you as an option. That's all I'm seeing. How many of just... how many are combined? I'm just curious. Enough. You're okay. robbing the graves, are you not? Is that where you were collecting these these parts? But of course. Do you not see that as a as an action that is nothing short of complete evil itself? It is desecrating. Yeah, I don't think the around... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I don't sorry. think the Morning Lord would be uh would be too happy with that. The Morning Lord shines upon what I do. Frankly, they are just husks. Their souls no longer live in those husks. We are just taking the Morning Lord's creations and repurposing them for good. How can you not see that? So why don't you just leave Irina's soul inside her body? Yes, yeah. she's one person. She has already it, yeah. whole, made by the Morning Lord himself. Ages have come that. and gone, with iterations of Tatiana and her soul passing from person to person, and it has never worked. I believe this will work. So you Is think... it not worth the sacrifice of one person? of their own volition, to save thousands for the rest of eternity. Are you saying that you had to make this composite being to complete the soul? Yes. So, Are me... you not a composite being, holding a soul oh, oh, to he... save a soul? Oh. No, he didn't. I, I don't know. The answer is yes. But my question beyond this, what you know of Strahd. So he will stop at nothing to get what he wants. How do you know that he has not planted the seeds for you to do this, to bring Irina to him? What he wants, exactly what he wants. It's a concert, an orchestra, where he puts everyone in their place to do his bidding. Strahd is dangerous, powerful, possibly eternal, with power unmatched for his kind. But I serve the Morning Lord. Yes, the but The creator this, of all. This the is bringer of light. An act of desperation, is it not? You, you've you've said your, you of have? yourself... I, I don't know, but there must be Tell some me, boy. better way... Than How else do we... To cut people up and sew them together They're and hope that you create a complete soul? They are husks. Merely husks. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your process here. Why do you need so many peats when, like, you have a person that's already one piece? So you have many beasts. Pieces. Uh, pieces of beasts um, that you sew together and your creation is better than the Morning Lord's? I don't understand your question. Oh, we so, have that problem so, sometimes. Sorry. Here's the, here's the question. Here's the question. So, so, you have beings that had faces from donkey mules and wolves and and other animals all sewn together. They weren't sewn. It was magical. Okay, magic. Put them together with magic. Is that a better creation than the Morning Lord's original creation? They were... How do I put this? Desecrated by their own doing. By mixing with family. Hmm. They were lepers. Fair enough. So, let us are you not desecrating one. the bodies of the beings that you're sewing together? Those souls no longer exist in the husks. I don't know how many times I need to. You say keep that. calling them husks, but we have burial rites because that they're not considered merely husks. Are you you're desecrating the dead. Are you questioning the Morning Lord himself? I don't think well, the thing that you're talking about is exactly what the Morning Lord is. Uh, are, or do you follow for? him, Esmeralda? Yes. Yes, I do. All the time. Praise be to the Morning Lord. Oh, yeah. Telepathically, where is she? I just shove a bun in my mouth really fast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathically in my telepathic bun. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't, I, I'm just chewing. <laughs> just a moment. Wow, so just you don't have to think about it? <laughs> That's amazing. I can only think, think about my bun. The time has come, Callie. Take us away. That's my line. 
<laughs> I heard. Uh, yeah, like I, I'm leaning towards him. I'm feeling good about him. Okay. All these questions about him are kind of annoying me because I, I'm, I'm kind of team. Yeah. Abbott. Team Actually, Abbott. team Buffalo Bill. I, I think. <laughs> Fair I grab some lotion from the bathroom on my Fair way out. Yes, it gets the hose so, again. What? What? Why? Why do you need so many pieces? Oh, Miss, Mister, uh, Mister Abbott. She, she needed to be perfect for Strahd. To create the perfect bride. This is crazy. And this is, oh man, he's not gonna be happy. I, I gotta tell you, this one is not as good. I'll, I'll, um, in the shadows. Are you questioning I, my craftsmanship? Not a question. This one is not as good of a woman. I'll slowly put. <laughs> Have you of, seen Irina? She is very pretty. But what manner of creature are you? Clearly, what? someone was confused in the creation of what you are. You are not one, but the other. What? You are a mix of, of, of multiple creatures yourself. Well, maybe like two. <laughs> but everything's kind of in the right spot. So are spot. you to say that if you are fully man or fully beast, that you would be better than the version that you are now? Well, i The Morning I'm Lord saying... clearly had some sort of understanding of what you had to well, be I in order to succeed. Going. I see where you're going. But if I had stitches around my face... Can I throw Holding a bun at Muskoka? Pieces. Yeah. Just throw a bun. Yeah. Attack. <laughs> Roll an attack. Just want him to shut up. While this so is I happening, just... like, in the background, I've, uh, I've put... You don't, get, you don't get, add your proficiency in modifier because you're not proficient with buns. Yeah, but, I, I had a train for that as well. <laughs> what do I add it to? Eight dexterity. to what? Dexterity check for that. Eight. Where is dexterity? On my, it's It'll on my first page? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, you know, 11. So the, yeah, 11. Misses his armor class. Falls over his head. Go. Um, I'm just going to load the two plus one, two plus one arrows into my crossbows in the corner there. By sleight of hand. I'm yep. assuming you're doing it yep. carefully. Carefully. Abbott. Um, I'll say to him, Abbott, you are ancient and brilliant indeed, as you've said here tonight. But the creature that stands before us is a shell of a creature that Strahd will never stand for. That is the truth. Can she quip? Can she dance? Can she sing? Can she entertain him for longer than an hour? I have been yes. teaching her, and, and he kind of raises, kind of spreads his hands over the table, and you can see that there are like empty bowls and things like he's been teaching her etiquette. Yes, but Abba, don't learning. you see that there is more to life in a relationship than the ability to eat from a fork or drink from a cup? That a relationship goes much deeper. You must see that. Yes. You're ancient, but you are missing the humanity of the moment. Persuasion. He yeah. is as brilliant as you are. Persuasion. She does not entertain you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Sorry, I, kept, I thought you were done. I just what? saying persuasion check, please. Come on! It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not true. I have seven ranks, so 19. Yeah. Wow! That worked. Yeah. Do you not see what we are trying to do is save you the embarrassment? Oh, yeah. Or worse, he might be insulted. He's right. Yes. What you bring before him. Does Don't you spit for your own life? Does she smell like a dead person sewn together? No. No? no. Wow. Our instructions from Strahd himself were that we were to bring Irina straight to him. Allow me to understand. The puppets of Strahd are telling me what it is that will free all of us from his realm? I, you have said that you are allied with him. How do I know that you are not agents of the devil himself? Come to attempt to change my mind. Rattavio, you seem to make sense. There is, there is sense in the words that you say, but not that is greater than the Morning Lord himself. Do you not see it? I rolled a 23 on my I show. see. It is clear to me that your intention is pure. I see that. Without a doubt, we all do. But you are missing the, the human element is the thing you are missing, O oh, ancient one. What you have created is indeed a shell, a husk of a human. But it does not possess, nor will it ever possess, the elements that will enthrall the great master strong. We are here to save the embarrassment. Or worse. Think on it. Let us 
let us take a moment, walk about the Abbey uh, itself and contemplate this, oh great one, and we will sit here and wait for your response. Very well. You will wait. Yes, indeed. I will commune with the morning lord and I will return. Glory be to the In the meantime, lord. Basilica will keep you company. Oh. And what? he kind of stands up and he starts to walk and he starts to walk up the wooden steps. Okay. And the music um, continues to play from above. So I will grab, I'll, I'll grab a scroll or a, a, a parchment and some, some a writing implement and I'll start to write. Um, what is our intention here? And I will hold it up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put it down in the middle of the table so that, and I'll, and I'll say, all right, he, he can be listening to our thoughts Hmm. and I'll put it down. Okay. I'll, I'll write to do what is right for Barovia. We must find the artifact. Are we not looking for an artifact? Yes. Pfeiffer, why are you still in the room? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are looking for the Did artifact. Did you say Piper? No, Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Oh, Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Oh, got it. Pfeiffer. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hidden in the corner. Yes, we are looking for the artifact. Yeah, we should be looking for the artifact, right? I mean, our... Yeah. Is there not? I, I was. Uh, I'm out of game. Yeah. I was under the impression that the artifact was is here in this in this abbey. And right? I think the yes, and I think the clues actually point to it being behind the symbol of the Morning Lord. Oh, then I immediately go. If that's the case, I don't know that. You know that back in game. Yeah. So I'll. Uh, so I'll I'll walk up to the table just to see what Rictavia wrote down. Okay. So I'll walk up to the table. Yeah. Um, and I'll uh, I'll write down. To capture the sword, sun sword, it is behind the Morning Lord symbol. <clears throat> and where where in the room is the symbol? It's uh, the symbol oh. is above the um. It's there. There's a, a like a plate, like a golden disc yep. above the mantle of the fireplace. Okay. I, I will let them do their thing. I would like to engage Vasilika in conversation facing away from the Oh, from the cool. Dish. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. So, so then... I'll, I'll take over, like, a plate of, of food with a fork, and I'll kind of, like, fumble around the fork and be like, okay, so, okay, you've been learning how to do this, right? <laughs> and, like, see if she can show me how to use the fork. I'll, uh, I'll nod over away. to the others, to, to Dimitri and Sterling and Rictavio and... and Cass, Cali. Cali, sorry, and I'll I'll like go point to the symbol, and uh, and I'll I'll go up. How where in the, where is it, Jay? In the room above the of the fireplace mantle. Above the fireplace mantle. So someone, um, so I'll write down on the paper. Someone lift me up. Um, as he as you write that down, I'll I'll go over and write down. Cover the doors. Okay. And then I'll go over and lift you up. Okay. Okay. I'll walk over to the door. Okay. This is the door. And I'll p- take a look out that way just to see if there's anyone coming. Okay. So you're going to kind of uh, open the door a little bit and just watch? Oh, it's closed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll open it a little and I'll just watch. Is that the stair- stairway that uh, he went up? The stairway is here mm-hmm. that he went up. Okay, I am going to cast Greater Invisibility and just kind of hide out in the stairway and keep a lookout. Okay, how high are you going to go? Um, I mean, how high is the staircase? Well, do you want to, yeah, I mean, it's, the walls are 10 feet high, I, so do you go all the way upstairs so you can see upstairs? Or do you just wait in the stairway to see if he can... I'll wait in the stairway to see okay. if I can hear him coming down and I'll, okay. so I can give a lookout. Okay. All right. Okay, uh... Um, did you get to do anything? Hmm? Uh, I, I haven't said anything okay. yet, but I'm keeping watch on Callie. I'm concerned about her. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to um, investigate the surface over the mantle of the fireplace. 
Okay, give me an investigation check. Thank you, sir. And that is a plus five on that puppy. So that is uh, an eight. Hmm. Um, Success! Yeah, it, it looks like it's a solid gold disc, sun. Um, hmm. That that exists. Okay. Um, the, and yeah, that's all you see. I'll I'll, uh, I'll pull. It's out, above the mantle. I'll pull out my dagger and try to like shove it behind the disc to try to like pry it off. Okay. Pry off the disc. Okay. With my immense strength. Hmm. Immense strength. Um, I cast protection. Okay. Uh, and it, it actually just kind of like shifts and kind of comes out. Huh. Um, and there's a alcove behind it. So I, I grab the disc, yeah. I pass it to Rictavio. Hold this for me. And, and you can tell even by passing it, the, the weight of it, it is worth quite a bit. Okay. Solid gold. So I'll take it back and put it in my pack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I pass it to Rictavio. Uh, it reveals a niche that contains a potion of healing, superior. Oof. Um, in a uh, crist- uh, sorry, in a crystal electrum flask. Oh. Uh, it's a really nice, wow. expensive, ornate flask. Um, four gold candelabras. Okay. Are in it? Oh, sorry. Th- those rest on top of the table. I'm sorry. Huh. That's right. So there is yeah. So there's a flask healing potion you can tell it's that red liquid you now know it by by sight yeah um obviously the candelabras uh are, are, are ornate that are on the table and then you see a platinum amulet shaped like the sun with a large red crystal embedded <gasps> in its center okay yes in it and there's yeah. like there's like dust on uh, it. i'll uh i'll we have a, f- a picture of it the guys will bring oh, it up oh okay i um I'll look at the amulet and like I'll I'll kind of like get into the niche a little bit, just to kind of cover. It, it's literally like this deep. Yeah, and, and I'm about that okay, small, okay. Well, so I'm just on. gonna look in, and like. Guys, just, can you bring up the the, the holy symbol? Then it's better have my amulet. And I'm going to look at the amulet, and put it in my hands, and go. My tr- no, just kidding. I'm going to uh, I'm going to put it up my sleeve. Ooh, okay. Okay. You're gonna sneak it up, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand okay. into my sleeve. Okay. Rictavio, are you watching what's going on? Are you making what's what's your kind of Come intention on. here? Uh, well, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, natural twenty. Oh. What? <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm. 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 I've got him on my shoulders. Yeah. I'm really more attuned to what's happening. Uh, him coming back. Okay. And I'll say to him, "Hurry up!" In the name of all that is holy. Okay, so I put the amulet up my sleeve. I grab the potion and I go, I go, Rictavio, look at this, and I pass him the, the potion. Yeah, leave uh, it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, I put it back. Okay. Um, and uh, come on, come on. Uh, and and uh, <sighs> all right, I'll pull the amulet out of my out of my arm and uh, my sleeve. And I'll put it on my my uh, around my neck, yep. and I'll walk. I'll I'll, I'll uh, get him to bring me down. Is there anything else in that little niche? Do I investigate? Is there anything? Does it go any further? There's no false door. Okay. I would like to like gesture to them to put the thing back. You up. put the you put the I put the, the amulet back on. Right so I get Rictavio. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, Rictavio, pass me the thing. So he passes me the thing. Do you want? Is that cool? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. I put the thing back on. Try to jimmy it back so that it works. And then uh, get down off okay. his shoulders. Okay. And I'll put the amulet inside my leather vest so that okay. he, he still hasn't come down. All right. So while, while that was going on, I wanted to ask Callie a question. So Callie, you know the Morning Lord, and, and uh, I, I know that you, you believe in him very deeply. And uh, what do you think of this abbot and his plan? I don't trust him. I'm not sure I do either. Uh, couldn't the Morning Lord already create a perfect being that would help end this whole Strahd thing? Why, why does he need somebody else to do it? I don't know. It seems incredibly fishy to me. I, d- I, I don't trust him. What do you think we should do? I think we should look for 
whatever the special thing is to try to kill Strahd. Do I hear them discussing this? I'm Are you guys whispering? I'm assuming. Um, well, I mean, everybody here, yeah. except so, no. except yeah. for the faceless yeah. lady. Yeah. Um, uh, should, and should I would have walked back. It's It's been a minute already, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I would have yeah, so you come back. back. Yep. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll go to them. How, did I? Sorry, I didn't hear whether or not I heard. Yes, you heard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll walk over to them and go. Uh, hey guys, check this out. And I'll pull the amulet out of my. <gasps> I think this is okay. the thing we need. We see it in the name of God. Put it back. I think okay. we see it. Don't let anybody see that. I just wanted to. And you saw you saw on the screen what it was. The guys brought it up. So you get you can bring it up again. There it and is. then also if you, can you bring up the full Ooh, screen jagged. Beetle and Grim version that we will have in our Ooh. Oh, there it is. That's yeah. the one that comes in the box. Wow, we'll have that, that in our possession at some point. It's, it's about the size of Falfer's head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so you have the symbol now? Yes, Falfer? we do. Okay, so do you, okay. What what's around my neck? Okay. You put it around your neck, you don't sense anything. Yeah, okay. It's heavy on chain. It feels very old. I thought yeah. we were looking for a sword. I thought Adam, Madame Eva said something about a sword, didn't she? Yeah, right. I thought we were going to find a very small sword you could telescope out or something and kill things with, guys, but guys, no. Guys, 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 will you excuse me? I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. And can I just find, can I just go out, because I need to be alone? So can I just go to a, Yeah. can I just yeah. you go, go somewhere? Okay, so I'm should, looking should, for should, a Kelly. washroom. Yeah. But Kelly I just kind of need goes to here and goes go. You go into the courtyard. Okay. Um, and and the, the wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, yeah. wait a sec, wait a sec. Yeah. <laughs> wait a sec. She says, "Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom." And yeah. Octavio says, "I'm sorry. What? Where are you going, Callie? I gotta pee. Uh, I want to her. sense motive. Okay, so give me an insight okay. check. Oh, you want? In, but like, I, I don't, I don't know yeah. what is going on. Yeah. But that's a really weird move. Yeah. In the middle of all this, having found the relic yeah. that is about, and because I know what the relic is. Yes, yeah. Jason. Yeah. Like I know that that is the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Yes, you do. And it's important. Yes. And in my entire life, I've never set eyes on it. Yes. And my life is different than some lives that other people in yes. this room yes. would understand. Yes. And the fact that she's now leaving yes. is complete horse crap. Okay, so give me an insight check, give me a deception check, Kelly. Oh, man. Uh, I rolled, uh, I got 17 for insight. I rolled an 18. 18. She looks like she really needs Plus to three. pee. Oh, 18, 19, 19 20, 20, 21. 21, yeah. You get the sense that she actually just wants to go to the washroom. She's doing the dance. You've seen her do this before. She drinks a lot. She has a small bladder. I have bladder. never seen her do this before. <laughs> she's done, oh yeah, she's did, done it at least five times on just the way up to, to the Abbey from Crest. Yeah, yeah she does this a lot. Crest. Trust me. Okay. Oh, I, I hope I, somebody maybe should go with her so she comes back in one piece. No, I'm okay. Well, I, I'm okay. I can go. I just, I, I just gotta go. I and can I, protect you. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. As you try, she goes. As you try to Don't, pass me to go out the door. Elvis, should you not travel with her? <laughs> Listen, I know that you guys all think that women all go to the bathroom together, but oh, oh, like I, it's I find like oh yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, you know, talk okay. girls. While talk. you're having that conversation, you burst <laughs> out of the door. Where do you go? The best. Just as you pass me, I'll say, um, why would you go this way? There's no bathroom outside, was there? I just needed to go. Yeah, she, he, she just... I don't even know. I you just try to stop went. her? Or she just, um, she just... I won't try to stop okay, her. Yeah, I'll she's just, just... Out the door. Okay. Where do you go when you're out the door? Um, is there anywhere... There's a door here, up here. Yeah. There's a door down there. There are all these doors set in the wall. Yeah. There's two doors over there in okay. the other building. Okay, so I just, I want to go to, uh, is that door far? Like, how far oh, away is the last uh, door? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 feet. Seven. Oh, that's far. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just, okay, bring me to the first door. That, that door? First door, yeah, there. Okay. Can I open it? It's padlocked. There's a, there's a big, thick padlock on it. Okay, is there any door As you start open? to kind of walk towards it, yeah. uh, you hear, like, scratching inside the door. Okay, I'm going to the next door. As I'm following closely behind, I'm like, hey, if you just want to like squat down in the middle outside, I'll just keep an eye out. So she steps out of the out of the door and she's kind of yelling across at you as you're checking out. Do you follow behind her, Esmeralda? I do. Okay. 
<laughs> so she starts to follow behind you. And you're just kind of opening the doors, trying to like find a door. This, they're all. You can see that all the doors that are set into this thing are have padlocks on them, and they look almost like sheds. Like they've been built into the wall, and it's like a small area that's a shed. One of them had a a, a, a scratching sound. When you try to open the next one, mm -hmm. you hear a bang on it mm -hmm. as something from the inside smacks the door, and the doors go a little bit. Sheesh, just, I just that's need good. a door that will open and I can get into it, Jason. Okay, well, <laughs> tell me which one. Did you like to try I this one, or do you like to try those two? I go to whatever the next one is. Okay, so you run over past Mardi uh, this girl here, yeah. and she kind of yeah. and she takes off on her wings, yep. and she hits the top of the of, of the of the chain, yeah. and it kind of shocks you a little bit. It's fine. And then she kind of like yep. slowly comes down and then hides around. Kay. You burst through that end door. Yes, please. Okay. Oh jeez! Wow. And I'm I'm fast. Like Esmeralda yeah. is like she's like whoa. She's I'm really gonna Should I take this? Huh? Uh, so it has to come off in parts. It's a little. No, no, wait, wait. You better do it all. Yeah, I'm, I better. I'm you know what? Follow. We're gonna take a break because yeah. 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 we're gonna take a quick oh. break. We're gonna lift the top floor off this thing. Uh, Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Uh, um, <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's do the draw at the end of the break. So for those of you at home, uh, if you want to either win an Eberron gold box from Beetle and Grimm, that is what? huge. Again, thank you so much for that, yeah. Matt. Yeah, and, and the good that. folks over there. That's amazing. Eberron gold box and two t-shirts. We'll do the draw at the end, but just write Beetle into the chat if you're if you're just joining us now. Um, and you will be entered more than once. You'll be disqualified. Don't do that. And then we'll announce the other um, giveaway after we do that draw. Mm -hmm. Um, let's do Gregorio quick while we're doing this. Uh, and he's going to talk about the magic items that we're going to do for Extra Life for this season. Uh, and then Matt, we'll come back uh, after you're back from a bio break if you need it, just to chat quickly about uh, the box and stuff. Great, thanks, Robert. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go, we're going, we're going. Go ahead. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Do you have your hat? Have is... we lost the hat? Right here. Oh, it's here. Oh, good. Right here. Okay. Right here. Right here. Right here. And one of these days, there will be a Frank Zappa wig. One of these days. Gregorio! Oh, oh, I don't know. I added an O. Oh, it's Gregory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm, uh, there we go. Okay. I won't pull too hard because pull the there's chair. a mic there. Hello! <laughs> I'm a Gregor. And as you can see, I have appeared in a pop of purple smoke <laughs> with sparkles and glitter. So, I would like to tell you about Extra Life. Because Extra Life helps the kids. It helps children's miracle network hospitals. And when you go to twitch.tv forward slash realmsmith, you are able to donate to Extra Life. You will see a banner there down near the bottom of the page, if I recall perfectly. That is where you will do it. Or you could go to the Extra Life website and you could type in realmsmith there and find this campaign. Now, when you donate to Extra Life, it helps in a piece, but it also helps in a party. And that is a good thing to do because the party is in a horrible, horrible place. <laughs> and there's a very, very good chance that they will all die instantly, without any fanfare, alone, in the dark, in the mist, only to come back as something horrible, because this is Barovia, you know, this is just what happens. I grew up here, it's, it's no great. So, <laughs> now, with every donation that comes in, you will see great things will happen for the party, as well as the kids. So, at 100 gold pieces, or your... Earth 616 dollars is a mithril chain shirt. And an additional 350 gold pieces on top of that would be a vicious long sword. And beyond that is an arrow of vampire slang. Don't miss with that one. 500 on top of that would be plus two arrows. Five of them, in fact. And then, upon reaching our absolute goal for this season, a cloak of elven kind. Which, if you're not an elf, is pretty cool. If you are an elf, it's kind of familiar. So. It's a, all good things, very good things, and they are stacked with many things that they have right now and keep forgetting to use, like the pigments. What is wrong with these people? Use the pigments! They'll help you through so many problems. You can paint a lock on a door, for goodness sake. Anyway, just, 
I, I digress. Help the kids, help the party. Remember to donate to Twitch or at twitch.tv forward slash Ram Smith and help the kids. For the kids! For the kids! Thank you, Brandon. What? What? Did I miss Grigori again? again? I missed him again. Like every time. Every time. It's like Pokeru for those Canadians out there. That's exact, the, the exact <sighs> reference right there. Matthew Lillard isn't back yet, but as soon as Joel gets back, he will answer a couple questions uh, while I go and do my bio break um, because it is needed. And, uh, and then we'll have a quick chat about uh, Beetle and Grimm's box. Uh, make sure, again, type Beetle into the chat. You will be entered. Can I get a close up, please? Thank you. Uh, type Beetle into the chat and you will be entered to win a Eberron gold box as well as... Uh, we're also giving away two t-shirts, two separate people. We'll do three draws um, at the end of the break and we will go from there. It is awesome and we're so very thankful to the wonderful people at Beetle and Grimm for all of the giveaways. So pumped. Um, so excited. All right. Joel! Is it in the Discord? Yeah, so we could look it up in the Discord? What? Uh, questions? Yeah, the questions, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I need you ah. to do questions. Mr. Joel? Yes. He is already on it. I'm on it! On it! I'm on it. Like I'm on it. You can do it! <laughs> and then, uh, actually, you can just have the conversation with Matt when he gets back to the box. Oh, awesome. You just show those images again, but just. Oh, should we not be here for this? No, it's fine. Okay. There's no spoilers. What's in the box? Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, let me try to get my microphone on. Microphone on. Microphone on. Microphone on. Hmm. Um, Sounds sciencey. Hey, folks. I'm just gonna try to load Discord here, see if it works, and then. Hi. Do you want me to do my quick announcement while you're looking yes, for Yes, if you could, us? that would be awesome. Cool. Awesome. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, I am in a Call of Cthulhu stream called Carnaby Street Case Files. And we have our upcoming episode this Saturday, August 15th at 6 p.m. on twitch.tv slash the initiative order. Um, so please join us. Nice. And it'll be fun. Amazing. Um, I am just loading where these questions might be. Um, trying to find where the... Hey guys, do you guys know where the questions are generally for the... For Is the... it questions for players? Questions for players, okay. For the players. Um, there we go, there it is. Evening, Elder Side Far. Thank you for asking the questions. Why is my video playing on my iPad? I don't know what's going on there. Okay, question. How afraid are you of the Abbot? I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I don't trust that he's not evil. I don't know that he knows that he's not evil. And I feel like he might be evil without knowing. I, I, is that possible? I, I, I think I know where you're coming from. Callie trusts him. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm good with him. <laughs> he's, he's super ah. chill, man. Yeah. I, You're... I think he's deceived. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, I think he's got the best yeah. intentions, but I hear that's a road to hell, right yeah, there. It's all right. Pa paved with the yeah. abbot. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, right. I think, I think he believes in what he's saying. Yes. But that I don't think it's necessarily true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, but I think, but I think he feels that he believes it. I think I just right. think he's batshit. Yeah, I, yeah. Think he's, I think he's lost it. Actually, yeah. yeah. Um, writing machine one two three question. Uh, my DM's next campaign is going to be dark. Mm. How can I play a character in a dark homebrewed world realistically? Well, just watch a lot of news. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Wah, wah. Uh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Too soon. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. No, I think that, that, I mean, that's a really good question. If, you're, yeah. if your DM is running a dark homebrewed campaign and the setting is dark. So a good example of this is Jason once ran a one-shot 
on a drive to Wisconsin, I want to say, for me and Dave or something like that. And uh, and he just made he just made it really dark, so we were able to 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 dive right in and and just kind of take his cues. Um, and a lot of it, a lot of the storytelling is kind of led by the DM, and as players, you're responding to the, the scenario that you're in, anyways. <laughs> so it's a lot easier if your DM is setting up a dark scenario for you to kind of dive in and and kind of take those cues. It's a lot harder if your DM is like setting up a, a happy place, and then you have to be a, a dark character. I'd say uh, makes yeah. makes it a lot more challenging. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say also, yeah, I would say just from uh, past experiences with if you're doing something dark, it's always a good idea to get uh, just have a little session zero with your players to see what boundaries are and so that you're still like within everybody's comfortable space, but totally. still like keeping it dark themed. Yeah, yeah, totally. So like everyone at the table, guys, we will be eating children in this. <laughs> so everyone good with that? Y'all good? Yeah, and, Jason and didn't do that for us. From the player um, perspective as well, I think it's having your character have a certain level of vulnerability, something that the dark can play against, is totally. also helpful. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, that's true. It's sensitivities, like, that's a good point. Like, if mm -hmm. your character has sensitivities to, to specific darknesses, it helps bring out some elements of their personality that otherwise wouldn't be there. Um, so a weakness is a good thing to, to have as a character. And in that sense, you can take a cue from your character sheet, and whichever one is your lowest stat is is potentially one of the weaknesses that you have to deal with in this dark place. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip. Um, Sazori of the Red Sand, question. Do you have a set effect for the vampire killing arrow if you do what it is, like you, if we use it? Um, I, don't, I don't know if we have, I'm sure Jay has planned out what its usage might lead to, but uh, an effect, in, I guess they mean in Sirenscape? Uh, maybe? I, well, it may just one. be that the item has some sort of like a specific oh. effect that you can choose, but I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the item, so yeah, I couldn't say. Um, so, Elder Sidefar asks, what was Brandon eating? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that that is a... Yes. <laughs> that is an Hi. orange chocolate caffeine chew to keep me awake. Oh wow! Do you have any more? Uh, in my backpack. Notice the in bags in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, bags and that's holding. not because I'm old, folks. Mm. Right? It is. it is okay. Um, Jesse the Druid asks, talking about the perception of good and evil. Anyone in the group who admits to being evil? Question mark? <coughs> Roan. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Roan has, if you haven't seen it, already admitted to being evil in a previous episode. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yes. I think he's the only one of the team that's but actually potentially, as far as we know, evil. Evil. Yeah. Tendency. Yes. Uh, yes. Although I have suspicions about this Canadian over here. Hmm. Uh, Elder Bosha <laughs> asks. Sorry. No. What? Sorry. Jesse the Druid asks. Wait. For Callie. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I was whispering. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, does she feel, knowing that the voice she had been hearing this entire time, how does she feel, yeah. knowing that the voice that she'd been hearing this entire time was, was actually the abbot? How do you feel now? Uh, yeah, I am, um, I am cautiously optimistic that <laughs> I, like, I am, um, I'm excited about it, but I don't trust it because of the land that we're in. I see. So part of me is like, so you're so, yeah. I don't know, man, but I'm you're drawn cautious, to it. Yeah. But you're optimistic. All right, that's 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 yeah. exactly why I use those two words together. <laughs> or are you optimistically cautious? Oh, mm. either or. Mm. I'm confused. Sorry, little in game. Secrets. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Secrets, mm. secret, secrets. I thought it was we sweet can have secrets too. We can't have secrets. Yeah. Oh, so we can right? drinks upstairs. Look at this, so in love. Look at that. No, I was looking for like a coke or something, but there wasn't anything. There's nothing. Oh man. Mm. I, I saw something. I saw I feel an like... open thing of peanut M and M's, but you can't no. drink it. So. Yeah. Right. Well, I we need to get a cappuccino like maker. We also don't too. have any trailer outside. Like, there's not a single trailer. Yeah, outside. I know. That's why. Yeah. I just think there was a lot of open snacks.
snacks, but you don't know what kind of licky Craft fingers services. have been in there, and I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. The green room isn't green. They're, yeah, mm -hmm. no idea. Whoa, sorry. Whoa. And, and last week, Whoa. I, I you ate all those spicy Doritos. You need an, a bag that hasn't been opened. You won't eat another... No, I ate the spicy Doritos. Were they open? Yes, but they were very full. And oh. then I only had a few yeah. of them and left them... In, Bruno. In, in the room, and mm -hmm. he climbed on the couch, and he ate like three quarters of a bag of flaming yeah, hot Yeah, so you Cheeto gave a French bum. bulldog hot Doritos. Accidentally. Already, yeah. He stole them. <laughs> who already right. has digestive and issues. He, he paid for it How later, I'm sure. How did that I'm go, sure. by the way? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he's, he's, all the he's ever had. <laughs> wow. The there there you go. There's the trick. But he's not used to right. carbs. Let's get back to it. Okay. Yes. Enough of yeah, French bulldog play. food. I am excited right now. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's riveting for the folks at home. How did we get on this topic? We always does. It happens. talking about snacks. Yeah. It always involves the poop. Yeah. Matthew Lillard. Let's uh, let's chat quick about uh, the box. Uh, I do want to show the images that we showed last week if we can go through them. Um, yeah. But if you want to just give me just a quick, uh, another quick sort of like how things are going and are you happy with the response and all of that wonderful stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you, one of the fun things is uh, I literally just got a prototype in my office right now. I can't share because it's for a new product. But I'm oh, really cool. that's exciting. That yeah. Um, it's something that I'm really excited about, but that's down the road. So yeah, so we, that's the, uh, that it's, it's great timing, right? I mean, that's our, a uh, holy symbol of raving kind. Um, it's beautiful. We, this last week, so we had a huge response after Gen Con. Um, it was unbelievable. And so we actually went back and, and, and contacted all our vendors and we ordered more boxes. So year. good. Um, so yeah, so those will all be uh, shipping out in October. We're hoping to get them out in October. Um, and you guys want to know, we have, we still have one box. I think I literally think we have one box left. Oh, yeah. for you mean for? Oh, we know you for, can't hear us. Uh, uh, yeah, Icewind Dale, Ryan of the Frostmaid. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. One box. One, one box left. It could and, be and yours. All on, like, <laughs> full of, or, what are these? Oh, those are our um, those are strawed finger puppets. Oh. <laughs> I love those. Yeah. <laughs> those so, are awesome. So this is a little bit of a spoiler, but yeah, not really. But well, this part. Yeah, these puppets, these finger yeah. puppets. Yeah, we don't know any of these guys other than handsome strap. Yeah. I would totally put those under my kid's pillow at night. <laughs> yes, you would. Oh my god, I would scare the crap out of my kids. With <laughs> but the but uh, the straw one is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> one of the fun things we did is we hi we ordered a bunch of um, straw singles. So if we ever get back to conventions, <laughs> they're so oh, adorable. Yeah, they are cute. <laughs> the little straw one. They will yeah. sell them. It's cute and the one that necklace. Eyes. He looks like Flavor Flav. 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 <laughs> the big alarm clock. The zombie monk or a zombie. <laughs> it's great. The cleric. Cleric. The abbot. Oh. And then we have. Um, we're gonna have each box that we do for Beetle and Grimm's that's based on. Uh, Wizards of the Coast property, we get to create and sell one t-shirt. Our Hell's Infantry shirt, that's one of my many children. Come in, child, we're live on the interweb. Oh, wow. Come on, child. <laughs> <laughs> that's Macy. Hello, everyone. Hi. 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 It's funny, you were talking about like- hair. Show people your hair. There's her hair, it's purple and blue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't laugh, it encourages her, and I don't think that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's funny, it's Matt, like, you I, said, like, you were starting to talk about Hell's Spawn, and then your child shows up at the door. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was, I was like, just bad timing. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, so we, uh, yeah, so we, um, what was I just saying before my child? Interrupted? And she sent me a note, so I'm going to have to step off. It was the t-shirts. Yeah, no worries. T-shirts. Sorry about that. Yeah, so let's. Oh, yeah, we get a T-shirt. Yeah. yeah, so each box we get, we get, a, we get to make one T-shirt. And my expectation is that we will announce that T-shirt and it will be on sale this week. And if it's all right, you guys, everyone on um, at Realmsmith, I would love to send you all T-shirts. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, whatever T-shirt you want. I mean, it's the only. The only gift I have is the voice of Shaggy for any child ever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Beetle and Grimm's t-shirt. So if you guys want to just 
shoot me an email. Absolutely. Oh. And let me know your sizes. And I'd be happy to get you guys a t-shirt. Awesome. That's thank so you. Great. Awesome. Aww, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, you. And you don't have to wear them in public ever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but hey, I'm will. wearing mine right yeah. now. In, Whoa. in unison, we will. Hey. hey. Yeah. Um, All right. I have hey, to pay for mine. Cool thing. Just so everyone knows, I don't know if I talked about this last week, but whether we, there's two things I'm super proud of about this company. I love our company. But we support uh, the Trevor Project with the LGBTQ plus t-shirt, which is our dino, um, the little boy fighting the dinosaur with pride flag, which we love. And then we also do Take This, which is a pen that supports a mental health in the gaming community. Yes. So both of those, yes. all proceeds yes. go to organizations that have nothing to do with us and, and go to benefit our the world. So. And on so that, cool. I'm going to make a phone call real quick. I'm yeah, we're going to do the draw while you're gone, uh, Matt. Yeah, go for it. And then we'll do the Cali stuff, yeah. Okay, can we do the draw real quick? Julian and Josh. This is the big version. By the way. Here we go. Just waiting for that the results to come in. You can talk to... I can hear you if you turn it on. Do you want to keep this on me? Sure. Oh, yeah. Wait, new production headset? I'm wired in. Oh, it's playing into the stream, so we don't. Want to oh it. dear. Yes. Oh. Yeah, and it's just fan noise going. Beep, so. Oh geez. Okay. Even if, if you turn down the thing, though, it won't come through. I don't think. What do I do? It's okay. Did I do something wrong? Nothing. No, no. Okay. You're great. What are the names? Josh. I need names. I think he's going to text you. Are they texting us? Okay. We're just drawing the uh, the the t-shirt in the box winners. They're naming two names. Two t-shirts in a box. Hmm. Two t-shirts in a box. No. Hmm? T-shirt in a box. Okay, Glancing Shadow wins the first Beetle and Grim t-shirt. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Glancing Shadow, cool name. Uh, you uh, can either our mods will reach out to you, or you can reach out to our mods and uh, let us know. BD5 wins the second t-shirt. That's BD5 underscore wins the second t-shirt for a Beetle and Graham. T-shirt number two. Right on. And the box. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. The Dire Penguin. No. Dire Penguin. Uh, a gold Eberron box from Beetle and Grimm's. Thank you so much, Matt, for doing that. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. By the way, the, the, yeah. um, that Eberron box is the best box we have, have ever made. Wow. It's a great box. That's it's so an cool. incredible box. It's I'd tight. be so terrified of meeting a Dire Penguin. That sounds <laughs> so scary. <laughs> scary. That's you know pretty mean? terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. A Dire Penguin. <laughs> yeah. used to be a of all the penguins. Dire of penguins. penguins. Uh, Cut sea lines. Hilarious. Okay, uh, the next giveaway for the rest of the, the stream tonight is a Mithril Armory 1020. Um, mm -hmm. You can enter Mithril, M-Y-T-H-R-O-L-L, -L, in the chat, and you will be entered uh, once. Uh, do not enter twice, or you will be disqualified. Um, and awesome. Thank you, Mithril, for sponsoring our wonderful Welcome. show Yay. as well. Brandon's yeah. building his... Right now, right right now. now. Yeah, I, live I on the set. <laughs> yes. Uh, can, we, can we straighten that camera out a little bit while we while Callie goes into that place, please? You can oh, see yes. it from uh, as Meralda, did just so job. you know, I didn't do a good job. Yes. You are uh, about sixty feet behind her, so she moved thirty. You stopped. You chatted with uh, Rictavio for a second, and then she moved again. So you can see her. Like you're basically at the end of the of the courtyard, across the courtyard. You see her burst through that door on the end. I would like to follow. Okay. And if the door's open, I'd just like to peek inside. Okay. Uh, so she's going to go oh, 30. Oh, well, so, no, no, no. Somehow 30. I don't think she's there. actually going to pee. What's that? This time. Yeah. I okay. said somehow I don't think she's actually going to pee this time. Okay. So you, you burst through the door, Callie. Mm -hmm. um, and you come into a room to the left, an area that looks like it used to be an office, as evidenced by the re remains of a desk and a chair both of which have been smashed to pieces. A hallway to the south leads to a staircase you see going up yep. in that same room. Yep. Uh, a dark passage to the east is full of unnatural whispers, mad laughter, and bestial odors hmm. that you hear all the way down this hallway. I would put it right at the end so that you can see right down the hallway. Yes, um, okay. Can I, uh, can I go in that door and lock it again? Does it lock from the inside? Uh, so you came in, it, do, it does not lock from the inside. 
But you can shut you shut it. Yeah, right. I absolutely shut it. Okay. Okay. And then can I just try that one door right there beside? Okay. So you go over to the door. Yeah. Uh, and it's locked. Okay. And there's there's a keyhole in it clearly. Hmm. And it's locked. Okay. Uh, but you definitely hear that there's like hmm. all kind and from from behind that door. Uh, are, are you stopping or are you just looking for another another area? Yeah, I'm just I'm not stopping. I'm just. Okay, so there are stairs that go up here. Yeah. On the end. Yeah. Uh, and then the hallway that goes down. Okay, I want to run up the stairs. What? Um, give me a perception check real quick. Oh, I'm gonna build it all back on now. Uh, 16 <laughs> plus <laughs> four, 20. 20. Okay. Dude. With the 20 at the end of the hall. Mm -hmm. Next to the door that leads out on the other end, yep. you see that there is a tall, hulking figure standing in the distance. <gasps> like okay. back there, Jay? Yeah, like back there. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of d duck in and you go up the stairs. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Esmeralda, you get to the door. The, sh you see the door closed behind her? So you kind of go through the door. <laughs> okay, give me a perception check. Sheesh. Yikes. You guys are crazy. Uh, eight. Um, you, uh, are you being quiet or are you just running? I was running Not up you, until sorry, I got sorry. to that I, door. I meant, I meant Callie, sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I want to be quiet. I want to be stealthy. stealthy. Give me a stealth check. As you came around this corner, you closed the door, you tried I to be I got stealthy. a nine plus seven. Sorry, what was your perception check? That's it. So, uh, it was an eight. Six. Yeah. So you get in and Callie's gone. You don't know where she's gone. Awesome. You all of a sudden hear, uh, like I said, quiet laughter, mad voices, this bestial, strong, potent odor that is in this place. And there are doors that line a, lo a long hallway that head all the way south. And again, you see this slight, not slight, you see a large hulking silhouette at the back of the, of the, um, of the hallway. Um, and you see that it starts to move towards you. What do you do? Oh, no. I am going to retrace my steps. Okay, so <laughs> you go out that door. back out the door and you close it? Yes. Okay. Sheesh. Okay, so you hear the, uh, Callie, but from uh, down the stairs, you hear the door open, you hear it shut, mm -hmm. and then you hear. Okay. Not even Can so I run back towards the others to tell them what I just yes, saw? Yes, so you can move her up to 30 outside that door. Maybe not that far, oh, but if that's 30. Uh, you need to count. 30, oh, shit. Back at the room, what do you guys do? So Callie runs out, Esmeralda runs after her, the abbot still seems like he's upstairs. I'm just going to keep this sirenscape on because yeah. I don't want to go back and forth between the rooms. But yeah. I'm still at the doorway here, so I'll keep my eye on the door, make sure no one comes through that we so. don't expect. Okay, so you're just waiting. Anybody yeah. else? Um... Uh, do I have any sense like and the music is still happening upstairs? Yeah. Do I have any sense like Rictavio knew what this emblem was when he looked at it? Mm, insight check. Rictav or, or Rictavio, were you trying to hide the uh, the fact yes. that you knew what it was? Yeah, 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 okay. for sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, ooh, yeah, I got a ten. Yeah. So no. Okay, I would say no. Ah, uh, darn. Okay. Um, I'll I'll pull it out and go. What do we do with this? Who did that? I just, I just don't <laughs> He's just smoking a French accent. Who did that? What are yes. you stupid man? <laughs> um, I'm comfortable like, with you speaking your own language. <laughs> Go ahead. Put it back. Hide it. Do not take it out again. What? Do you understand this? The, the, the stakes of this moment. I just, I do. Please. What do we? Where do we go now? What do we do? What's this one? We, uh, we have what we need. We leave. So let us go. Um, I don't know if we can. We cannot leave Kali behind. Um, I'm still chatting with this girl, uh, trying to distract her a bit. But I, I know that there's there's, the, the, the what we came for was a sword of some sort, and I'm pretty sure he didn't tuck a sword down his shirt. And she's just kind of like looking at you without a face, just kind of staring straight Expressionless, at you. Expressionless, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. <laughs> I'd uh, say probably. Can she communicate at all? You, you, like, she's got no lips. Every once so. in a while you hear a grunt or like a moan, but that's it. Yeah. So I, like I'm, I'm, I'm simply to them like, like we can't go, we can't go yet. This, this isn't, this isn't what we came for. 
Yeah. Um, I'm uh, like. I'll, I'll say. Uh, so do you say that out loud? No, I'm. I'm trying to motion to you to communicate because I'm trying to distract this faceless woman from hearing, really overhearing all of the plans that we have. You need just distract her. Check on that. Oh, yes. That's not gonna go well. I lost my well. die. I guess it might I'll go well. Sterling, anything? Just kidding. Um, well, I was going to reiterate that we should look for the sword. That's cool. Look, it's um, kind of frozen. I did that too. Were there any other holy symbols around that you could see? Can we get a, a quick update while oh. they're wondering what's going on? Can we oh, just well, look then. at the extra life meter for a second? No? It's reset? Because I just see that we got like a $1,300 US donation what? to what? extra what? life. What? What? <laughs> Pepper Jack just donated thirteen hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Wow! Was, wow. Oh, was that an accident? Wow! wow. <laughs> no, but wow. they just unlocked a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Pepper Jack just donated thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah! Wow. Holy Pepper cow! Jack. Thank you, Pepper Jack. Wow! wow. wow. Pepper Jack. wow. wow. Pepper Jack. wow. Pepper it's not working. It's not because oh, the machine wow. reset, so we have to like play. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So bring that up when you have a second. We'll see it. That means you guys have a bunch of items coming your way. Wow! That's Holy awesome. shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's for the kids! It's for the kids! For the kids! Wow. Callie, yeah. you come up the stairs yeah. and you yeah. see a counter shaped like an L yeah. that stands at the, at the front of the spacious office. Yeah. All the other furniture has rotted away, leaving heaps of moldy wood and faded cloth. Okay. Oh, um, what you see is you see, is there a door leading in, guys, or is there just a hallway? Just there's a, a door ha here. Uh, there's a door there, but then there's a hallway leading further hallway. in. I think it's just the yeah. hallway. Okay. What do you do? I I take my marvelous pigments <gasps> and yeah. I'm going to paint a door. Okay. And I I want to paint a door. Oh, and I want to paint this. Wall? I don't care. Pick a wall. I don't care. Whatever wall. It doesn't you, matter. Okay. So the, it doesn't matter. You're Tell me what to do with door. <laughs> door. <laughs> okay, I'm too excited. <laughs> Are you painting my card. to get in there? Like right, no, right, I'm right, right. I want to. Paint a door because I want to go to the, the Burgermaster's cottage. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're hoping to 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 open a door to yeah. the Burgermaster's cottage. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay. So which which one are you? Which 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 Jason, wall are you? What? How am I not following her? This is terrible. I'm coming back to get you guys. It's I'm that coming dice. back to get you guys. You spent Where all your good. You spent all Where your good rolls. I <laughs> just. You're in the okay. court. You're so in the courtyard, Nora. I don't wall. care. That door, right? That wall, right okay. there. Okay. So you go and you start painting. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna take some time. Ten minutes. It's it takes ten, ten minutes. minutes. Okay. Oh, thank so, God! So, Somebody stop her, guys. <laughs> you <I'm> just <laughs> you unlocked the uh, mithril shirt Wait, yes. and the vicious sword. Yes. What? what? Go ahead. It takes Callie? ten minutes to cover a hundred wow. square feet. Oh, oh wow. Big as a door. No. God. So it's then okay. a minute per for ten square feet. Yeah. So yeah. and so a minute. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so, as Esmeralda, you time. cross the again with your movement. I'm going to allow you to, to get to the room in your next okay. turn. So, Esmeralda uh, like comes here. through the door. You uh, let her in, <laughs> I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. uh, Dimitri's standing by the door watching. You kind of All burst right. in. What do you do? Uh, whatever you're talking about, shut up for a second. Whoa. Callie walked up, ran in that way. I saw a shadowy figure. I think she's in trouble. You ha we have to just run. We have to go help her. What? Okay. okay. I immediately yeah, stand up no and go. Questions. To... Let's just go. Yeah, let's go. Fine. Immediately. Go. Let's go. Immediately, Immediately stand up and go. Okay. Oh. At this point, I'd like everybody to roll initiative, oh. just so I can understand where and when and at what speed everyone is moving, please. Okay. Uh, no, this is the one. As is. fast as I can, leading everybody towards where I left. I'm still on Rictavio's shoulders. Kidding. That's a joke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twenty to twenty-five. Uh, uh. Oh, I got a dirty twenty. Oh. Oh no, sorry. Why is it yeah, so I was somber? looking at the wrong thing. Uh, I have a 21. Mm. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20? No. Oh, 10 to 15. Me. 14. 14 as well. With Dex is higher probably for yep. you. Yep. Foul sense. first What's first. Dex? 13. Muskoka. 17. Rictavio. Okay. 13. <laughs> 5 to 10. I got a nine. Okay. Callie. Three. What'd you get? I got a dirty one. Oh, a one? <laughs> and <laughs> Esmeralda? Oh, you're first, right? Yeah. yeah. So That's a dirty so one. So then it's Sterling. Roll the three. 
Minus and two. Dimitri. I rolled a one plus two. Okay. What? Esmeralda, so you you cut you burst in. Uh, you're the first to move. What do you do? Uh, I. Sorry. Had, so so I were in that hallway I where I saw the shadowy way. thing. Say that again. So we're in the hallway where I saw the, last saw the shadowy thing. No, you're back in the room. You just told them what you're doing. Now you you need to decide where you're, which direction you're going to go. Oh, okay. I'm heading straight back to the okay. direction that I came from. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming you're dashing? Yes. Okay, you are you have just passed the center point kind of of the courtyard. Um you're you're uh, approaching the post that she's chained to and just past the uh the the well. Um Falfer yeah, I'm gonna dash as well. So double, so fifty. Uh, where were you in the room? Uh, I was back here. Yeah, I was in the stairwell here. Twenty-five. Uh, you're only twenty-five. Yep. Right. So fifty total. Okay. So you're about there. Okay. Um, Skoka. Uh, I'm I'm going to uh, say I think someone should stay here in case our host gets back. Okay. And so I'm you gonna, stay with. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep move chat, Skoka, chatting uh, up, faceless. What's that? I'm gonna keep chatting with okay. faceless. Okay. Um, Rictavio, you're up. Callie, you're on deck. She's enjoying your company. Uh, I'm with her. I'm I'm uh, on her six. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dimitri. Or Callie, sorry, you're up. I'm so, I so you're still. Yeah. Just to remember, Jay, I had yep. that protection going before we left. Before yes. We went up. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and what does that protection do again? Just so. Um, saves me from everything ever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Super powerful. Um, it's amazing. So protection is uh, disadvantage on attack rolls against target. Yeah. Can't be charmed, yeah. frightened, or possessed. Yeah. Um, Good. Okay, cool. Uh, Callie, so you're through uh, one of your minutes in your 10 minute. Don't take oh, 10 sorry, minutes. one minute. Uh, sorry, so minute. You're, 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 you're six seconds in, so you need 10 rounds to finish the store. Okay. Mm. okay? Yeah. Um, oh, I see what you're doing now. Sterling, you're up. Dimitri, on deck. All Sterling, right, what I, do you do? I'm keeping up as best I can with everybody. Um, they're all dashing to get to her? Yeah. I am too then. Okay, I will so also be dashing. Octavio. Dashing like Rictavio. I am dashing as well. Okay, you are dashing, sir. Uh -huh. oh. Dashing and daring. Some, some might even say charming. <laughs> You're kind of beside Falfer there. Okay, so you guys are all rushing across the courtyard um, as you go. Um, back up to the top, Esmeralda. You're going to burst through that door? I sure am. Are you taking a dash action? Oh, actually, uh, I would like to wait at the door before opening it and wait for everybody else. Oh, good call. Uh, you're going to, sorry, say that again? You're going to what? So instead of Bursting breaking through. through that door, I'm yeah. going to wait at the door okay. without opening it and wait for the rest of my Okay, body. so you're holding an action. Uh, you can't hold an action because you have to dash to get to the door, so that's your that's your added action, okay? Yeah. Cool. Um, Falfer, you're up. Muskoka? She, she's only moved 25 feet, though, from here to here. Right. So it's not just her normal movement? Yeah, but then, yeah. Wait. I'm just hoping. She was here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So oh, well, uh, 10, 20, 30 puts her here. Okay. She's not at the door. She'd have to move further to get to the door. This yes. square is five feet? Yeah. Yes. She has 30 movement. She was here. Five, 10, 10, 20, 30. No, but you're counting 10 feet per square. No, I'm counting each five, one. Five, 10. Oh, you're oh, over with the girl. Five, it's fine. Hey. I think Anyways, uh, okay. Uh, Falfer, you're up. Let's go here and I'll, just, I'll use my dash as well to move up as close to the door as I can. So 10, 25. 10, 25 puts you there. Yeah. Um, uh, Rectavio, you're up. Cali, you're on deck. You're keeping up. I'll hold, I'll hold my action. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna move, but then hold your action. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'll take my full move, and I'll hold my action. Right. Sheesh. Okay, and then you're gonna hold your action to do what? I'll, I'll, I'll hold till the end of the round. No, I know, Until but you have to you have to declare what that action is uh, for you to hold it. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah, <laughs> and it has to be fairly specific. I, I will. Um, uh, I will. I can't do that. 
Um, I'll wait. I'll wait till the next round. Okay, so you're just gonna. You, are you gonna continue to move at all, or are you just gonna stop? Where yeah, you're, yeah. Okay. I'll take. I'll take my full move. Okay. Okay. And, you're you're beside Esmeralda uh, at that point. Yes. Okay. Um, Callie, mm. that's another round. So you're now three into your ten. Okay. Because mm. it's six second turns. Sterling. How can I run that fast in six seconds? Yeah. Sterling. Right. So I'm again trying to get to Callie as quickly as I can. So I. Mm. So you're gonna dash? Yeah, I'm gonna dash to get in. Did did Esmeralda say where Callie went? She just said she, you're just following her. She didn't really say. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Uh, she said she went to a hallway and there was a guy, but there was no specifics, right, uh, okay. Esmeralda? Yeah, there are no specifics. I just was in brevity. I just said follow me, and yeah. I saw yeah. at the end some dude at the end of the hallway. Okay, so what, what, you have movement. Yes. You can get through the door if you decide to get through the door. Right? I'll get through the door. Five, ten, fifteen, yeah. twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He bursts through the door. Yes. <laughs> and for my turn, I'm right on uh, Sterling's tail. Any chance we can move yes. that bridge, Jay? So we can yeah, absolutely. See the folks there. Yeah. Okay, let's move it back a little bit. Can you move it uh, further to the back there for a sec? Uh, right there, yeah. Yeah, that's the place. What did you roll for initiative, do you remember? Uh, yes, I rolled a 14. Okay. Mm, yes. Okay, so Dimitri? I'm, for my, I'm just moving all the way up, so I'm right on, right behind Sterling. Okay, uh, and okay, so you, he bursts open the door, you get to the door, and as you look, down this hallway, um, in the dim light coming through, you do see that there is a silhouette that is about halfway down this hallway towards the door that you just came in. As Morelda, as Sterling kind of brushes past you and bursts through the door, Dimitri kind of comes in behind you. So now you're between both of them, but you can kind of see down the hallway and you see that there is a large, hulking creature. Looks, um, you don't have dark vision or anything like that, and it's fairly dark in here, uh, but. Yeah. Uh, only the light basically coming through the door and through cracks in the stonework. You see a, a large kind of like seven foot, eight foot hulking humanoid, seemingly uh, naked except for like a loincloth around its waist. Um, and it is halfway down this hallway where it was all the way at the end before. I just kind of nudged like that was the guy. He is impressive indeed. That does not mean he's dangerous. Everyone hold your fire! Okay, at that point, uh, you see him start to pick up speed. <laughs> As he starts to... Uh, <laughs> I was wrong! I was bear, down, <laughs> bear down on Sterling. So who's in that, who's in that hall so far? Can, uh, just Sterling at the... At the Sterling at the, at and the, Esmeralda, yeah. kind of. Okay. Uh, this thing is going to, as it starts to run forward, Sterling, you can see mm -hmm. that it's made of patchwork flesh. Yeah. Uh, arms. That's right. uh, oh, there's a picture. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, stitched up. Uh, there's like glob uh, slobber kind of pouring down its down its neck. Um, and uh, it, it it are you okay? No. What happened? Charlie horse. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is charging really far. Can you uh, towards you? Sorry, uh, sure. Joel totally just seized up for something over here. Yeah. He's he's got like a Charlie horse in his neck. Um. All right. So we're gonna move him thirty feet towards you, Sterling. Does that make him t make it to you? All right. Five, Those are 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It yeah, does. He's As he range. comes up to you, he swings oh. with a slam attack, both arms above his head. Cool. Towards you. Uh, that is a, uh, you okay? Yeah. A 24 to hit. Okay, that hits. And a natural one. That um, does not hit. And, uh, so he, with both arms in the air, yeah. slams you right in the chest. Okay. You are going to take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As he slams you, and then as he does that, though, he, he didn't expect you to be made of metal, I guess, or how sturdy you were, right. and he kind of stumbles sideways and tumbles kind of onto the ground and is prone yeah. as he kind of stumbled over, okay? Wow. okay. Um, is he still next to you? Falfer, you're up. Muskoka, you're on deck. He's on the floor. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm going to try to get to the to through the folks to see what this enemy is. Okay, so uh, can you move Falfer 25 through everybody? 
Oh, you can kind of see what's happening, um, but you'd have to move into the room to see him. Yeah. Because there's nowhere to, s- to rest. So you I can kind of the move yeah. through their space, yeah. Yeah, so you I'm can just... move through, yeah. You yeah. just can't stop in their space. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so so do I see what it is? Uh, you see that, it, yeah, it's a large, hulking, kind of Frankenstein, patched, patchwork okay. kind of creature. Okay, so I'm going to prepare um, a, my Hail of Thorns. I have never used this spell before. Okay. Whoa. Um, and uh, so the next time you hit a creature with a, with a ranged weapon attack... Before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the the in it, so in addition, the target of the attack of each, at each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes one d10 piercing damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful save. Okay. Oh my. Uh, thankfully, uh, Sterling is just outside of your five foot range. Yes. Um, you're going to attack. Yes. It's it's an area that you attack, or do you attack? No, it? attack it. Okay. And then yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you fire your bolt, it flies, and you're you're not far from it. If you can roll a, an attack. Absolutely. And it's right. the next time it hits, right? That's right. <laughs> Assuming that it does hit. And that is, uh, ho, 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 wait till I tell you what it does. Um, that's a plus seven. So that is 18 plus seven is what? 25? 25 to hit? Wow. 25 to hit. Okay. So 1d6 oh. plus three. Uh, that is three plus three. So that's six plus the 1d10. Plus another three, so nine points of damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you notice though that the bolt first doesn't pierce his skin as deep as you thought it might, hmm. but the thorns afterwards, these magical thorns that come out, do. I forgot about the one, the plus one arrow that I Is put that in. What you were That's what I put in here. Right, remember? Right. Right. Okay. When then, I was then, waiting then for the damage. Damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So ten dollars. Okay. Uh. Muskoka, you're up. Vertavio, you're on deck. Oh, I'm so torn. I'm so so torn. Um, I'm 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 um, I, I'm I'm gonna keep conversing with this lady for my next six second turn. Okay. All right. Yeah. What are you saying to her? Is well, I'm just talking about like the food and uh, the room and you know like yeah. so, you know like so how many people you made out of you know like again it's like, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm all like just one yeah. one person, <laughs> no sewing or anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, from top of you, you're up, Kelly. You're up. How many people uh, are you making? Okay. You're at the back of the group here. You can kind of see what's going on in between, like through the through the group. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, I really. So I, I'll move through. I'll move through the next line of people. I won't get all the way up to the front. Okay, so there's not really anywhere you can rest. You can kind of rest beside Dimitri, I'll say, on the step. Okay. Um, as you're kind of peeking through, so you can kind of see through the doorway. Uh, you can see, you can't see the creature. He's lying on the ground on the other side of the door, and Sterling and Falfer are in front of you. But so you- I, so I, Matt, feel like he, that this creature is probably not intending any harm. I mean, his madness is doing he's doing what he's supposed to be doing which is probably protecting yeah. whatever in these in this thing yeah i feel terrible about that and i feel like i don't want this this creature to be killed right um but i that's matt's impression and i don't see what's happening i just hear violence on the other side yeah so can i get a perception check to see if i can Glean that from the moment that's happened. You know what I mean? In six seconds, yeah, yeah, combat, yeah. Down, yeah. There's fighting. I yeah, mean, perception. Yeah, right. Yep. Um, fifteen. Yeah, you know uh, that this is probably a construct of sorts. That it's right. been built just like Vasilka, and you do know that con- constructs obey their master, whatever the the order was given. So you imagine that he is basically guarding this area like his master told him to. Right. 
And we and Callie's on the other side of this area, right? You haven't you, you can't see her. You don't know where she's gone. You were told she went in here, but you don't see her. She's nowhere in sight. Okay. Um Man, I really don't like this at all. Okay, I will cast <laughs> that said, I'm gonna cast um fairy fire. Okay. Give everyone advantage. Okay. So uh, these little globules of, of, of magic kind of float out and start to surround this creature. I think he gets a saving throw, though. He, uh, he um, it requires concentration. I don't think he gets save. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, he does. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, deck save. And what's the DC? The DC is a um, 16. Yeah. They start to circle him, and he swats them away. <laughs> They go away. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Callie, you're up. Uh, that is another one, so you're fourth through. Um, Sterling, you're up. Dimitri on deck. All right. Uh, so I'm going to walk over next to him. Yeah. And having heard what Rick Tavio had said before and remembering what the abbot said about many of the people here being mentally ill, I think, well, maybe he just thinks that we're going to try and hurt him, which sure. we already have. So sure. I'm going to uh, go big Sterling. Okay. You know. uh, there's, a, there's a sound probably that occurs when you do that. It's probably like this. And then he's replaced oh. with what? Big Sterling. What? Why? Big Sterling. <laughs> oh, you got to turn him towards the camera a little bit. Look at the oh, book. Man. Wow, he's too big to fit in the shot. Oh, the and his, his eyes are red. Dude. I'm big, double D, double D. So tiny. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm gonna grapple this thing. Aww. Okay, you're gonna yeah. try and grapple it. I'm gonna okay, try to grapple it, check? which I get to do with advantage as Big Sterling. Yes, and he's on the. I'm, I am a large yeah. creature, and he's prone, essentially. So oh yeah, he's prone as well. Okay. He flew down to the side. Oh my, that's athletics, right? Yeah, strength athletics. Yeah. Okay, that's a sixteen. Yeah, you. Uh, reach down and you are you just grabbing him how are you trying I'm, to I'm essentially gra- like kind of like hands on the back of his head arms like locking full his Nelson. elbows full Nelson so you basically oh. pick him yeah. up or oh, the Taz mission even yeah, yeah. okay you tas- you tasmatize him yeah uh, <laughs> and you have him and he's he's starting to struggle but he's not moving all right and, and again he's like <laughs> Doesn't necessarily Why are you hitting yourself? Right, right. Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I will I will say we don't need to hurt you this can end well for all of us. Yeah, okay. Uh, give me a persuasion or, check on We that. don't need to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. can end well for all of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Do I... Perception check? Pers- 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 you... uh, persuasion, sorry. Persuasion? persuasion. It's a plus zero to make eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. He doesn't seem to be. It doesn't uh, seem to be. He's not buying it. <laughs> no, he's not buying it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Esmeralda, you're on deck. All right. I will. One, two. Three. Enter. I'll see that Sterling has him in his hold. Yeah. And with sword drawn, I'll say, "Well done, son." And I'll go to strike Daddy? the creature. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, like <laughs> okay. Go attack. With the long sword. Yep. Dimitri. Yeah, what's Dang. going on in there? No, I know. Twenty-two. I, I attacked him too. Uh, it's a hit. Do I sense some enmity? Huh. <laughs> No, I don't have it back actually. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Eleven slashing with my long sword. Oof. Eleven. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Um. It doesn't quite cut as deep as you imagined it would. Mm. You know how this goes. Hmm. Okay. Just hold on. To it. Uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Falfir on deck. No, sorry, um, Esmeralda, you're up. Golem's on deck. So conflicted. Um. I. Will still attack him as well. Okay. I'll. I'll you come around the corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of push through. I don't want to use any spells because I think people are too close by. Okay. So yeah, I will uh, attack with my uh, with my rapier first. Okay. So that is a fifteen to hit. That's a hit. Let's see. Uh, and that's, up on the second uh, floor. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven points of damage. You do hear comment done. Sorry, say that again. Seven points for the first one. Okay. 
Um, and then uh, 13, does a 13 hit? Yep. Sweet. Oh, we're gonna kill this thing, aren't we? <laughs> that is another six points. <laughs> okay. And then with my third one, I'll uh, hit him with my silvered short sword. Okay. So, the, oh, I don't know if that's gonna hit. So, uh, that's that's a nine. Uh, that hits. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> Big is, uh, flash. <laughs> okay, that is another six points. Okay. Again, you notice that even with your um, even with your silvered sword, it's not doing the damage that you imagined it would. Okay. What is this thing? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that's someone's laughing. Wow. <laughs> There's lots of craziness all down this hallway. You just hear all kinds of like animal noises and grunts and screams and laughter. Yeah. Just a, a like a, an asylum, basically. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um. The golem uh, is going to attempt to break your. Can I get a strength athletics check? Yeah. Okay, that's a twenty-five. And you still Ooh. sorry you twenty to hold twenty-two. Him. Yeah, you managed to hold him. He's still flailing in your arms, but you um. managed to still hold him still, which is crazy. Um, Fall for your up, Skoka, you're on deck. Okay, so I'm going to try to uh, to persuade. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Uh, what are we doing? We do not want to kill you. <laughs> Stop fighting. <laughs> Persuasion check. That Make was good. Wow. Exactly, oh. kind of a tactic. <laughs> That's a 17. With disadvantage, because you're all attacking. Him. Okay. Mm. Yeah, good point. So that's a 17. <laughs> We're dumb in hurt you. And that one is also a 17. Stop struggling. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Uh... He's... Uh, 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 he's still fighting, but he's fighting a little less. He's got this gash in his chest from him. Right. <laughs> right. It's calmed him down a little bit, it seems. Like, he knows that he can't get out of this, but it doesn't seem like he's... He's obviously under the control of his master, okay, and that might supersede. But you're trying, okay. okay. Um, yeah, Muskoka, you're up. Octavio, you're on deck. So Muskoka's gonna grab from the table a few little vegetables and just stick them in his pocket. I want to run to the top of the stairs and just listen. Like, is there a door at the top of the stairs? Where this guy was? Uh, nope. There's just an opening. Just an opening? Yeah. So I'll, can I just peek around and see like what's going on up there? So you kind of like, go up and okay, yeah. Do I see anybody immediately at the top of the stairs? Uh, one sec. You've got bad luck with the tops of stairs, though. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it's true. I, you guys my just, worst yeah. fighting. Up you guys there. have now split the party, so I just need a second. Yeah, it's true. To we have sort all three that ways, out. actually. Yeah, but you know what? Okay. Well, it's never where's... a bad thing. Uh, the wooden stairs climb 20 feet to a loft with a pitched roof and a door in the center of the south wall. Unlit lanterns hang from the rafters, and a rope dangles from a bronze bell lodged in the belfry. Uh, or Belfry, 30 feet overhead. The room is filled with the sound of beautiful music, a melody so enchanting that it adds a bit of much needed warmth to the otherwise freezing room. Ooh. A black shroud covers a humanoid shape lying on a wooden table. The music does nothing to stir it. A cot heaped with furs rests in the northeast corner, surrounded by empty wine bottles. An oil lamp burns atop a table nearby, silhouetting a squat creature that has two heads. It sits on the edge of the cot with a viol between his, its legs and it's playing. It's a, with a crustacean claw-like appendage, like a, like a lobster, it grasps, wow. grasps the neck of the instrument while running a bow gently across its strings with its human I hand. I was actually gonna ask if the instrument was being struck, like plucked or both. No, so yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And uh, the abbot stands uh, in the corner uh, and he's actually kind of pacing Does back and forth. So he doesn't see me? Uh, well, give me a stealth check, and I will tell you. Okay. Uh, what is my stealth? What's oh, the four? Uh, and he turns to, to face you. Well, would you keep waiting down here for you? Are you, you going <laughs> to come back? I assume at this point, since your companions have left, that you are no longer interested in helping us. I, oh, I, yeah, I thought it would be rude if we just left. So I waited just in case he came back. 
So I can go. You want you want me to just go then? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna uh, quietly <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yeah. Do I have an action? Uh, that was your action. To come That's up and then action? to talk and yeah, yeah. I okay, I'm gonna come back down. Um, you're just gonna get. You can walk down the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. And that guy kind of stopped playing for a second and looked at you. And then continued playing again. If we can get a, a picture of the of the yeah, that's what the guy looks like. He's got a uh, he's about the creature oh, stands about four okay. feet seven inches oh. tall and has a barrel like shape. His right head is fully formed and combines the features of a patchy haired man with those of a goat, complete with stubby horns. Oh. The left head is about half normal size and has a soft cherubic face, partly covered with cro- crocodilian hide. Okay, so he not has just... a crab's pincer in place of his left hand and a bear's paw where his right foot should be. So not just two heads. One of the heads is a baby head. Yeah. Another he wears an ill, ill-fitting monk's robe with a belt made of hemp and rope. Ill-fitting? Like, what does he ask for at the shop? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I've got like one foot of a bear and one hand that's a claw. <laughs> no, no judgment. Two neck holes. He has to get all of his clothes tailored. Rick Talio, you're up. Kelly's on deck. Oh, man. Um, do I have any sense now that this construct is sort of Subdued. Do I have any sense where Cali is? Can I make a perception check? Survival check. Hmm. What was I, your stealth uh, again? What was your stealth that you, that you rolled before? Yeah. There's high. Like oh, 20. Exactly. Go ahead. Would you roll? 11. Yeah. Uh, you come in and, and again, like. It was like 18 or something. Yeah, so this place is like, it's, it's, it's a mess. Uh, and even finding prints is just difficult especially with all of the craziness that just ensued in front of you, you're having a hard time. There is stairs up to the left, and there is this hallway that leads all the way down with, like, doors all along. So I'm going to go up to the left. Okay. So, uh... I don't know, because here's the thing. Can I, yeah. Because I'm not metagaming, because I actually don't know where Kelly is. Yeah. Uh, um, the down the hall yeah. looks like yeah. a bunch of uh, cells, right? Yeah, kind of. Rooms. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go up to the left. Okay. Uh, so you 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 turn left. I race up. Okay. So he was here. Yeah. So he's gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Puts you about halfway up the stairs. You want to keep going? Double move. Okay. You get to the top of the stairs, and he come. Uh, Rictavia comes out on the top of the stairs there, uh, in that in that opening. Uh, you come up and you see Callie has a paintbrush out. And she's painting something on a, on the wall. Okay, I'll say to Callie, in the name of all that is good, what are you doing, Callie? It does not look like you're going to the bathroom. Is it my turn? Can you I? You can talk. You can you can respond. It's not your turn yet. It's your turn next. But well, that's your turn anyways, right, Matt? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's your turn. Go ahead. I uh, I take. A potion of invisibility out of my cloak, and I drink it. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Callie, does the door keep painting itself? <laughs> yeah. What do you do <laughs> with the do you, paint? What, what do you do with the paintbrush? You have a paintbrush in your hand. Let's right get now. to the next round. Just and God it, damn it! And it, dissolve, and, and it dissolve, Well, you need to go soon, sir. <laughs> you have date night. Uh, it <laughs> dissolves into your hand, and so at this point, you have a there, there's a half painted door. And you now have the, the brush still in your hand because yeah. it's also invisible. It is. But if you start painting again, yeah. So I'm just so gonna. Wi- I'm just. You, you stop. It. Yeah. D- um. You don't have to. Are you gonna move? Or are you gonna uh, text me? Text me what you do with the rest of your move. That was oh. an action to drink it. <laughs> text me. What you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Jason. If the you... people need to know. Sterling, you're up. Demetri, you're on deck. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> you know, if you were painting a commode, this wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, Did you tell me? No. I'm texting you. I'm texting you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna get to him first? Um, is the question. Oh man. Okay, uh, Sterling, you're up. Dimitri on deck. All right, so continuing yeah. to grapple um, our brand new friend here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say, we're just looking for our friend. I do not want to harm you. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 
I mean, you imagine this yeah. thing's pretty brainless. It, it's given a command, right. and it's trying to communicate, but it actually can't speak. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just continue the grapple, because, I mean, I. it hit me before. It was mean. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. you know. Uh, uh, right now, yeah, to, to, it has to try and break the grapple, I think. So you can continue to hold the grapple if, if that's what you want to continue. Yeah, I'll continue to, to hold the grapple. Okay. I'm not going to... Okay, Dimitri? Okay. Following Sterling's lead, I will um, put my sword away. Yeah. And I'll kneel down to the creature, and I'll say, um, What have you done with Callie? And I'll smack it across the face. <gasps> okay. All right. Uh, give me a, wow. an attack with advantage. It's auto hit. It's being held. And it's grappled, um, so I'm gonna say it's restrained. So you can actually s- smack it. So just give me damage on, yeah. on an unarmed strike. Yeah, it's uh, six. Yeah. Oh, it it doesn't hurt your hand. Oh. It doesn't hurt your hand, but like it's solid when you hit. It doesn't do the damage that you imagine that it would. Hmm. Um, like like <laughs> smacking like a side of beef. Um, <laughs> like a whole side. Full rocky. Um, it takes a little bit of damage. And uh, is it? Responsive. So, so it, it you hit it and <laughs> slobber all over the place and a little blood over it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks at you, kind of like half again, not quite understanding what you're saying. Oh. Kind of trying to communicate, struggling against it. You don't think you're getting anything out of this thing? I feel bad for him. I, I, Me too. He's probably got like a tear in his eye from this laugh. Oh. He's like. I just wanted to sleep. He wants to cry, but doesn't know how. Uh, can't. Yeah. Okay. okay. And my turn. Uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Uh, seeing Rick, uh, yeah, seeing Rictavio run up the stairs, I will follow him up. Okay. So she uh, squeezes by and she gets up to the top of the stairs. Okay. You get up to the top of the stairs. You see that there is a half-painted, what looks like potentially a door. I don't know how much it looks like a door because we haven't done a performance check yet to check. Um, but you see Octavio kind of standing there, um, unaware of sort of what's going on, kind of looking around, seemingly confused. Um, I would put her in the doorway, not where the door is, not where... I love how the Minnie's arms are like, what? where did she go? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and here I thought it was like, I just wanted to So you're at the top of the stairs, you kind of stop. Uh, what do you do? What's going on? Octavio, you can respond. Sorry, I'm chatting with people in the chat and giving away t-shirts to people. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, you- what's going- I'll, I'll say to her, I was like, Callie's gone invisible. She's doing something nefarious. I bet my bottom dollar on it. She's in this room. <sighs> Callie, what are you doing? Callie, what are you doing, creature? You get Show one- yourself. You get one action, Esmeralda. Punch you there- in the face! <laughs> At what? At the air? I'm just gonna start punching I don't the air. Know. Do something. I'll just start punching the air. Okay. So you <laughs> start punching the air. Um, I think. Uh, I think you get a. Is it disadvantage on a attack against an invisible creature? I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, give me an attack with a disadvantage. <laughs> All right. I'm punching Here we go. the air. If you and if you get in the way, <laughs> then it's your fault. <laughs> Body in that general direction. <laughs> yeah. All so. right. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, oh, but I get to add. Do I get to add stuff, or is it a straight die roll? Stra- uh, straight. Uh, uh, like, yeah. You, like an unarmed. Strike. Yeah, but it's disadvantage. Yeah. So it's an unarmed strike. Okay. But oh, you, unarmed, okay. Unarmed but you get with disadvantage because you can't see. Are, where you're... <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, it's fifteen. Okay. <laughs> with an, Nothing but air. Kind of out in the direction that that that. Lillard was l- looking. Nothing there. Oh, I, I'll just keep doing it. I don't know. Okay, so you keep doing it. Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, Felfer, yep. from behind you, Shoot. you hear this crash <laughs> from across the courtyard. Oh. And you're kind of in the doorway there, and yep. you kind of like look oh. and you peek out the door. Yeah. And this angelic figure smashes through the door on the second floor, flies up, and lands in the middle of the courtyard. <laughs> you want to get the camera? Yeah. Okay. And he, uh, sorry, he, he, he flies up into the air and he's hovering, his angelic wings moving, perfectly pale, luminescent skin, glowing, glowing blue eyes, and, it, and he's just in the middle. 
Okay. I'll, uh... uh I'll turn well, to the... Well, it's not your turn yet. Oh, but... Uh, I did, you just... I said that you noticed that. Fair, um, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> glad I noticed. And... <laughs> Sorry, who was, who was just up? That was just Esmeralda? Yep. Esmeralda, yeah. yes. Um, give me another strength uh, athletics check. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> All right. What, what do I got here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. That's 19. Okay. Um, with a 19, he, st- he continues to kind of fight against it, but he, you can tell he's getting actually like worn out from yeah. you holding him as long as you have okay. and kind of not budging at all. Yeah. Uh, from that smash, you all kind of hear it. Dimitri, you actually can can kind of turn your fa- hit your head and you can actually see this creature just hovering in the air above. You can see the, the, the picture of the creature there. Uh, and you hear this bellowing voice, this angelic voice that sounds oddly similar to the abbot's. And he says, where is she? And the flesh golem that you're holding goes, the master. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> oh. Jason, that was wrong. Well, you know, that's how we do. Dun, 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 that went by so quickly. And a couple of. I officially say harumph to that. Harumph. Harumph. Uh, I echo your harumph. <laughs> Can we make it? Can we make a um, a donation to go for another twenty minutes? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Can, can you hold off uh, your family for another twenty minutes? <laughs> not if I want to stay married. He's <laughs> dead. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Twenty anniversary is next month. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I uh, I hate to put you on this. Hollywood is like yeah. seventy eight years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hate to put you on the spot, Matt, but are you going to play next week? Yeah. I'm going to anyways, but... Um, <laughs> do you guys want me to? Of course yeah. we do. Yeah. Gosh. Why? That is such a sucker move. Yes, I'm playing next week. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll have Matt back. We'll have Nora back, of course. Uh, thank you all for tuning in for episode five of Into the Mist. That was a action-packed one. You guys haven't fought in, oh, in like three episodes or something. That's like okay. That. That's yeah. all right. Uh, <laughs> but it, they've been some of the best episodes ever, I think, with yeah. role play and everything that happened. It was yeah. so good. So good. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do the draw for the Mithril yes. Armory Kin 20. Yes. Uh, if the production folks can let me know. Um, what are these? What are these? What am I doing? I'm holding everything? I'm holding everything. everything. Uh, Absolutely yeah, show everything. This is the card. This, this, the the this is the dice. The card, this is the dice. The metal thing's in the car and the camera. thing turns into the... There, as soon as the oh, no. camera turns on, they'll be able to Might see happen. the, the Might mirror. Happen. Yeah, it's okay. Mini cam? Mini cam. No. Nope. There, oh, there, there we go. Is. All right, there we go. Uh, the winner of the myth roll, Tim 20, is B. Fisher 13. Yeah. B. Fisher 13. Yeah. B. Fisher 13. Yeah. Congratulations. The mods will reach out to you, or you reach out to the mods, and uh, they get you'll get... They'll get all your info and they'll send it through. Thank you so much, everyone. Tomorrow night on Player's Table, I will have Nora Ibrahim uh, nice. joining Yay. us. Uh, she'll be chatting about all the wonderful stuff happening you're, with her. You're behind the screen. I'm the Player's Table. Mm-hmm. Did I say Player's Table? Yeah, that's okay. Behind mm-hmm. the screen tomorrow yeah. night. It's hot in here. It is. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, but glad to have Nora. That'll be fun. Uh, that's 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific tomorrow night on twitch.tv slash realmsmith. We can go tight if you want. Um, they like to pick their noses while I do this. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank goodness. And uh, Thursday is Player's Table with Joel Oshay as usual. And then Sunday, uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Tutorials with Realmsmith as we paint a Nolzer's WizKids Mini. And then back for episode six on Monday yeah. with all the yeah. fine folks that are here. Thank you guys. It's been wonderful. We hope you have a wonderful night. Yes. Uh, Nora, you wanted to talk about something. Did you already get a chance yep. to? Oh, I was able to do it in the announce uh, in, in the break. Cool. Check out the Dwarven Forge Kickstarter. They're kicking butt. Uh, I have a prototype that they sent me that I'm going to be painting on stream at some point in the next nice. few weeks. Um, in August at some point. So I'm excited about that. And then, of course, check out the boxes. Is that box sold yet, Matt? No, it's one so box, box left of Icewind Dale, one left. Rime of the Frost Maiden, uh, for Beetle and Grim. Go there, check it out, and then also check out the incredible legendary Crystal Straw box, uh, which you saw a lot of the items uh, revealed here tonight for the first time. Uh, yeah. Exclusives, y'all, so good. Thank you for having us live on your channel as well, Beetle and Grim. Yeah. Uh, thank you, D and D, for having us live as well. 
Uh, and we will see you tomorrow night for Behind the Screen. Mm-hmm. Have a good night, guys! See ya! Bye! Bye. Bye. So f-